Y'all all right? Y'all all right? Whew, two to be alive. I tell you what, that pollen already started. Isn't that right? Somebody gonna get mistaken for coronavirus. But y'all take your stuff, you'll be all right. And I take your stuff, take your time. That's the main thing, ain't that right? Let Mr. Yahuwah do his work, do what he's doing. Who is intended to get, Mr. Yahuwah gonna get it. Ain't that right? It's in the White House. I seen all here mirroring me and standing around. I said, all of them got it. All the reporters got it. Ain't no way they're escaping. Everybody getting it. No. They got to pay for what they invented. And they come back to bite them. Just like Pharaoh did. Every disease plague he put on us, you would turn it right around and put it right back on him. Isn't that right? And every one of these places, all of them suffer. I report, I tell you, they can keep that job. I'm not interviewing. The man got it. Y'all seen that morning had a hat pulled on so you couldn't see how red his eyes were. Time is coming down on us. Finally, white man, I got somebody in control. He don't realize now. He cannot escape it. Isn't that right? That's what happened. He intended to put on us, turn it right around and put it back on him. Well, I'm certainly glad to be here today. Once again, he didn't have to do it, but he done it again. Isn't that right? Somebody seen an old truck pull up, they thought it was Abraham. Isn't that right? It was Rudy. It was Abel Rudy. Rudy got to be the new Abraham. I mean, you got to go bust your one out your truck. I mean, that man took the whole back one out of pickup truck. Range that coming, he just riding doing the speed limit. Nobody but Abraham could do that, isn't it? Man, we're glad to be here. Y'all all right? Did y'all learn anything last night? Well, Layla, two, two. That's right. While all this going on and people panicking and doing what they're doing, main thing we got to do, we got to make sure we secure our salvation. Right? So that's what we come in to do. So we're going to look and see what it say. does say Mr. Yahuwah. Because I say getting late. As it gets later, it gets approaching more and more. People starting to realize. It's kind of like the soul stick. How many of y'all not familiar with the soul stick? Y'all should be. I taught y'all more. That's the two times a year that where the, where the, where the Shemash moves closer to the rocks and when it moves away from them. Mr. Yahuwah is moving closer. That's right. He's drawing near. They learn that from the solstice. Two times a year, you'll find that the Shamash will draw closer to the Arach. This is in the time we more later than you have Yun, because he's drawn away from us. When he draws closer, we got more uh, more uh, aura, which means for us, we got more amat. True. That's how we. That's how we knew it was true by the uh, by the uh, aura, by the light, by the dark that we knew he had gotten away from us. Y'all all right? <laughs> Okay, you don't know in the winter time all your stuff start dying? Ain't that right? When he pulls away from us? Ain't that right? You don't realize there's less light or oil when he pulls away from us in the winter time? We were supposed to recognize that. That's why he told us other times. And what was again? You have no need that I do. See that? We know. Because we're getting ready now to come in the harvest. This time we come in the plant, we're getting ready to year, and we're getting ready to start harvesting after a while. Ain't that right? Then we'll get on down to end gathering. That's in the end. Isn't that right? So we're trying to make right and make ready before we get back here. This is our opportunity. Why you here? Why you listen to sit down and apply yourself? Isn't that right? All right, so we'll get ready. All right, Malcolm, you ready? All right. Yeah, that tight, Malcolm. Get in the spirit. Come out the spirit. <laughs> and one ain't working, go to the other one. <laughs> That's fine. We'll take it how we get it. Um, Most High Yahuwah, Allah, of Yasharal, through the Shem of Yahushua HaMashiach, we call upon your Shem. Asking you to barack us, to look down from your shamayim where you dwell with your sabut. We ask you to barack us, that is, bestow a gift upon us, to give us an understanding. We ask you to search us, to try us, to see if there be any, any rasha ways. Cast it from us and lead us in the Iraq, which is the way of life, everlasting. We ask that the debar of our paw, which is of our mouth, the meditation of our law, which is of our heart, be accepting your sight. We ask that you barack the barith, which is the covenant, that you Shabbat, that you vowed to Abraham, Yat Sakab, Yaqob, the Yahudim, and to Yasharal. 
to a Tuladoth, and their Tuladoth and their Tuladoth Tuladoth, even unto us, which is to their generation and to their seed. We ask you that you would Barak, your Shamaim and your Sabut, Barak Jerusalem, Barak your Ra'a, your Malaaki, which are your messages in every Malkum. Barak those we commit to you in Palau, those that had a lob to be here were not able, those that seek you, those that support your Dabar. Uh, we ask that you allow your Dabarims to marshal and shar over our Nefash and over our Pasar, which is our soul and our flesh. We ask you to keep us that we might endure until the end that we meet you in Shalom. We ask that the Shem of Yahushua HaMashiach be exalted and be extolled. That the Tahalim go to him and the Kabood, unto your Kabood, Yahuwah Allahim. We ask that you will barack those that are married, single, separated, going astray, taken from us, especially our young people and our yarlis. That you be a barack to them and you restore them unto us. Those behind prison walls that you consolate and keep. Those that are bereaved, we say how do for keeping us in the loss of our Akeem. We ask you to uh, barack those that are homeless those that are searching and seeking, those that are going through disease and pestilence, those that are calling upon you out of a pure law, that you will grant them their law's desire. As we prepare to move further in this service, we pull out that you take full control, that you get the Tahalim, the Kabood, and the Kabad, which is the honor. In the Shem of Yahushua, HaMashiach, we pull out. Let us all say, Amen. All right, wonderful Husha. All right, David made it on back. They took your time off. I called them, checked on him. They say ain't been dating no Chinese women. Ain't no funny egg rolls or sushi. They say I've been wearing a mask and spraying. I tell you what, a lot of folk won't make it back. Who sure he is too? I ain't forget about y'all that day. I just didn't want you to give up that hockey, hockey, hookie. What they call it now? COVID-19, any way to dress it up, any way to dress it, they call coronavirus, COVID-19, a lot of people don't know why they do stuff like that, oh goodness, this is terrible, um, let's get that just in case, I'm going to say something I'm so sure glad we got that air server. That thing working just in time. I said, these jokers ain't going to burn me up in here. I ain't looking to burn up and be in Sheol. They ain't looking to burn up in here while I'm working. Get the board out. Want well, to make sure what we put up and what we see, everybody can follow. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, it's up to you. Wow. That's right. Rod, that's too much loving. Yeah. Rod, well, you got to cut it off, at least on Shabbat night, ain't it? He's going to be coming in here drunk and bumping in this stuff. She on Wo Sham Shun now. <laughs> Rod, it's strict you to be unknown. We ain't know a piece of cloth and one single ball would take him down. <laughs> this, is a, this, is, this is the book of Romans, chapter 15, at verse 4. Oh, I'm good. It feels good. Yeah, man. It's righteous right now. Dang righteous. L listen, this is the book of Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Again, we talked about why we use this because this is our base, the platform for which we build. That's the same thing you had to have in anybody know about construction and building. You got to have a foundation first. That's right. So that's why we come here and look at our foundation. From here, we can sprout. We Just like a tree, it's got to have roots or a plant. It got to get roots before it spring up. Before it spring up, you ain't going to believe it. It got to spring down. A seed can't shoot just straight up. It got to first got to plant itself. That's right. That's right. That's the same thing we learned with Yahushua. Before That's he right. could spring up, he had to spring That's down. That's right. Right? You got to take root. That's right. I told you when a seed comes, that's what it got to do. It's got to go in the ground. It's got to take root. Yes, so right. it's got to have a foundation. That'll determine how far it can go. That's right. And what it can do, your foundation. That's this right. is why a lot of these religious sects wind up failing because you go and check them, they really don't have a foundation. They got no foundation. That's right. They just out that we Israel. Yeah. It makes no sense. You're not yeah. going to stand alone. That's right. You got to have a foundation. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. So we start looking at our foundation. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Listen to the book. For whatsoever things what, what? were written before time. Were written for what? Were written for our learning. What did we say learning was? That's right. That's right. A systematic set of beliefs. 
right? Makes a difference when you understand verbiage. You can read some and assume that you actually understand it, but a lot of times people don't. You just assume to know. It has to, it's a system in place for us to know. Listen. That we, through patience, and comfort of the sufferer, do what? Might have hope. See, that's what we look at. That whatsoever things are written for a time, were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scripture, might have hope. So we're working here to try to do what we call, we're trying to decode. See, you don't realize that you live in a system. Um, it work too. People do a lot of playing with you. You just don't know it. It's a lot of playing <coughs> with you. A lot of playing with all of us. We just don't know it yet. But uh, hopefully, Mr. Hill will and we'll kind of indulge in it. But I think what we'll have to do is kind of go back first. Mm -hmm. And then I bring you across and I show you exactly how they're playing with you. Yes, sir. And why you don't know. And they put it right in your face. You just don't know it. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff you assume to know you don't know it. They just, it's just, it's just, it's how they system work. It's basically keep us dumbfounded. If you don't know, then you can't do it. That's the whole purpose of keeping away from you. A couple of things he took away from us to let us know what would give us an inability to learn was to take away a teacher, a moray. And to take away Torah. Yeah. Because right. if you got a teacher and he don't have nothing to teach, what is that? Right. You're an educator. I give you a service. I want you to go and teach and you don't have the subject matter. It don't matter what his skill level is. He can't do anything without the material. Right. So when Yahuwah showed us exactly how they killed us in a crippling state, he took away from us first a Kohan. Right. Then he took away from us Torah. Yes, sir. That way he knew we would stay away. Yeah. Don't you know these people read your book and learned that? It made sense to take away your moray. Your teacher. That's right. Right? That's and it right. made a sense to take away your Torah. That's right. And come back and give you a whole different system. And you never know that people have just sat around. They actually just have played with us. So we just try to work on that and just try to say, eh, this, I don't know. What's other things are written for a time, written for our learning? <laughs> and we through patient comfort of the scripture might do what? Have hope. Have hope. So now, at look at that. Let's look at the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 1. We'll see how this go. <clears throat> How many of y'all interested to know what I'm talking about? Good, good. Well, we'll get to it. Yes, sir. As you see fit, we'll, we'll get to it. Let's take your time. Make sure you up and you up for it. Yes, sir. <clears throat> That's all we need y'all to do. You can stay up and stay up for it. I can do it. It won't be on my end. It's never on my end if y'all don't get it. It's just when so many of y'all start dwindling off. And, and y'all know we in here for a long time because it's a lot of work being done to you. Right. I mean, I mean, you being work from every angle, every end. We talked about before with the movie The Golden Child. If you notice, when they put that child there, they worked him from every angle. That's right. Then the next thing they tried to do with him, remember, they played with his food. That's right. Oh, yeah, they played with his food. You notice what they put in his food? Blood. They said if the child ate blood, he would be defiled. That's right. You know, your law teaches that your tour, that's what it got from your tour. That if you ate blood, you would actually be defiled. Mm. But you could drink it. So they'd have put it in a cup, he'd have drunk it, he'd have been fine. It was intended for him to eat it. Mm. That way he would be outside. That show you that people even made movies playing off of you. Mm. What was the purpose of putting blood in him? Why you put garbage, manure in it? Mm. That's unclean too, human manure. Right. They intentionally used the, sim or used the similar to of putting blood, dumb, inside of his food. And if he ate it, he'd be defiled. Mm. So you got to ask yourself, how much blood have you eaten? You go to most of these restaurants, they give you a steak. They, they, they're, they're strictly for giving you something medium rare. They're strictly for giving it to you. You go to these places, you had to demand them to take it back and cook it again. I said, no, 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 it's just paint. Take it back and cook it again. Because these people already know how to play it. We just say, well, hey, you know, because if you can't discern, then you're going to find yourself right back still in captivity. Our goal is to get out of captivity. This is some things that Shaul started to look at. Why don't we go here? Because we started to kind of look at some things that he did. Let's look at some. Since we're here, that's how they work out. This is the eighth chapter of the book of Romans, 8 and 1. Listen to the book. There is therefore now no condemnation to them. So therefore, I guess, use, I guess therefore as a definition. Would that be from this point forward? Let's see what the definition of therefore Let's not assume to know anything. We work better. It's, it's better if you assume to know nothing. Because a lot of time when you know something, you quick to fight something. 
It is. Sometimes you know something, you can cut it off quick and you might not have just the whole validity of it. But because a little you know, you're defensive or uh, you're apprehensive about taking on more and sometimes you can cripple yourself. Hello? Let's like the unit. The unit coming from Jerusalem, from the worship, reading the book of Yeshayahu. Can we go where he was completely stupid? He said, look there when he was questioning, why even try to argue come back? I really don't know. I do know something. He had to know something to know to come from Jerusalem. He had to know something to have the, have the Torah, the script. He could be completely ignorant now. It's just when it gets to this point, this is where my hang up comes in at. Is he talking about himself or somebody else? Hello? He realized, well, how can I accept somebody got me? That's when information became prevalent to him or things opened up to him to enlighten. I think when you take on knowledge, I think it would be to enlighten. A lot of people, that's what we got to get. Even they realized that light gave knowledge. Just like when Yahuwah looked at, when he looked at in Barah, creating. He even looked at the necessity that there should be a or. Right? There should be sight. Hello? Sometimes when people get there, I say, the light clicked on. That's amazing, the different little scenes that people have that actually relate to you. They even looked at when he started career, he looked, it was a need for that light be on. So when he started working, it was need for that we had all order so you could see. If the, by definition, if I'm correct, light means to make clear. Hello? So you don't have that dense visibility. Truth be told, we sit around, we look at the book, there's a lot of dense um, visibility. Right? So we need Mr. Yahuwah to give us the or. Right? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. All right, let's see. Let's have a, come on. They took death for that because I was taking too long. Thank you. Uh, therefore is an old English. What is that? P, what is that? P A E R? Pair four is how you actually pronounce it. Pair four from there, plus four, old English and middle English. Um, collateral from form of the four since 1800 century therefore has been used in sense uh, for that by reason of that and therefore for that by reason of that is what we like highlighting this is going to be important for us oh, I'm sorry oh, you try to let them see I, 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 I listen. I don't claim to know nothing. Teach me, <laughs> and therefore, in in the sense and consequence of that similar formation in Dutch, we need hell. We say hell now. Dorava, is that how you pronounce that? Darvor. Darvor. That's how it might be. He might. He might sound. Hold on for a minute. This is what we'll do. He scared himself. I'm definitely not gonna believe nobody. When you, if you'd have sat that though, you out of middle, I said, education, hypothesis, you know, educated get. But he started looking around like, hey. <laughs> now, 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 see, L know a lot of words. Do you go along with that? What he said? That's what I go with. I know he do it. He look and see. That's why he look at the nigga run. You didn't even know you were smart. And <laughs> no, we appreciate that, German. Dafor, Danish. Boy, I don't think it used to be good. I can't eat them. I just be honest with you. Find me another definition because I'm more confused than I was confused. I already got an idea of what therefore is, but let's look find someone. Go to Google. For that reason, consequently. Okay. Same thing. That's why you highlighted it. Try to show me we're going to be right here anyway, huh? All right. For for that reason. We'll look at that therefore for that reason. So he said there is therefore. Now no, no condemnation. Presently. For who? To them which are in Mash Mashiach, Yahushua. See that? Who do what? Walk not after the Basar. But what? After the Ruach. So tell them what happened. For the Torah of the Ruach of Kai in Mashiach, Yahushua. Hold on for the law. They'll use law. Torah by definition will be instructions. That's all it is. Just like when you find a law or a code, that's an instruction. <clears throat> that's how a police officer or a judge can charge you according to subject, code, whatever, because you broke an instruction. You either didn't follow one or you, uh, what you call it? Uh, Deviated. What you say? 
Chris, I'm not with you. Mm -hmm. What's the word I'm looking for? The offense. There was an offense. All right, where you trans, either you didn't follow or you went against, basically. Y'all got it? So that's pretty much how you're charged with something. I, I think what happened with us is knowing the Torah gives you the ability to make sure you don't break it. Y'all got some people learn how to, just like when, let me just show you something. Oh. Pick me up at the book of Romans 4 and 12. I'll say that for me, 4 and 12, Romans 4 and 12. I'll come back to this. Just based off of what we read. How about that? Let's understand what we read. Okay. 4 and 12. Um, Barashith. Chapter 9, verse 1. Barashith. What did we say this was? Well, in the first, basically. In the first, this is where it started. Isn't that right? First is going to be in the beginning. That's where you're going to start at, right? So, Barashit in the beginning, 9 and 1. Uh, listen to the book. And Allahim Barak Nuach and his Beni, and said unto them, Be parith and multiply and be replenish. Fruit. That's right. Power of this be fruitful. Listen. And replenish the arats. Mm -hmm. And the yara of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the arats. That's right. The fear of you shall be upon who? Upon every beast of the arats. Yes. And upon every fowl of the air. Mm -hmm. Upon all that moveth upon the arats. And upon all the fishes of the yam in two. Your hand are they delivered? So we would have got that. Who now? Who now? What do we understand now that we didn't know before? Who? Stuff that was already there. Just saying what spark? That's right, a dumb. But you never heard it to this magnitude. Pick me up at Barashit sheet one twenty six. That's why it's important to read. Let's see something. <coughs> This is Barashit again. They call Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Listen to the book. And Elohim said, What did he say? Let us make each in our image. How? After our likeness. And do what? Let them have dominion over the fish of the yam. See that? Over the fish of the yam. Dominion. What else? And over the fowl of the air. And over the fowl of the air. And over the cattle. And over the cattle. And over all the arats. Uh huh. And over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the arats. So what did he do? So Elohim created each. In his own image. You know what you didn't hear? You didn't hear that he had the fear of him. All of them had the fear of him. <clears throat> See, in reading that, when he established that for Newark and told Newark that the fear of him and the dread of him was going to be upon every creature, they won't fear him. That's the only way you're going to rule over him. It's got to be fear. That's right. <laughs> this is the first one we learned. He had to have fear. You know how important that is? That's what happened when he gave them the Torah in the 20th chapter of the book of U'ala Shemut. They call Exodus. Right. When the people heard, what did they do? Yara. They yara, they fear. And what did they do? They were removed. That's right. And what did he say that he did? He came to prove that he could rule over them. That's right. In order to rule over somebody, you got to be able to take control and have to be stronger than. That has to be a fear. So he looked at, <laughs> I'm going to put you, and you, one thing you didn't hear him tell Newark, he already had done. It wouldn't make sense to repeat it again. Let us make him in our image after our likeness. All I have to do is just go ahead and establish again what I did at the first. Borrow sheet. That the fear of you is going to be on them. The dread of you is going to be on them. Hello? Why do you think white people don't let you rule over them? Because they're not scared of you. Hello? How many of y'all remember bullies? I had bullies in there that had them. And why they used to be bullies? Because they were you afraid of them. Mm -hmm. They can get you to do stuff you didn't want to do. Well, you look at that. There needs to be a fear. So I can get you to do what I need you to do. What you don't want to do. That's what Shaul was trying to tell us in the 8th chapter. In this, when he told us in the 8th chapter of the book of Romans, he said, there is therefore now, consequently, because of. 
no condemnation that of them are in him. If you go back in the seventh chapter in the early to read it, which is the same letter, don't let chapters throw you. This is only so you can divide and you can get the point quicker. That's the only way you have chapter and verses. This is still all one writing, one letter, okay? So in doing that, he started telling you about the things that he would find himself doing were the things he wouldn't want to do. So something changed for him. Consequently, now there's no condemnation, which means at the first there was. But he started to change also in place setters. What made the difference of the condemnation to them that are in? We'll deal with that a little bit since we're talking about it. But I just want us to understand this. So when we heard this, you didn't hear what he told Newark. And when we got to Newark, you didn't hear some of the things he told Adam because on both ends, they were already established. And what makes sense to say, let us make each in our image. I thought each was already here. Right. He just reaffirmed that there should be a Yara. Right. That's the only way you're going to be able to rule. They have to Yara you. Let's see what happened. At the book of all... Olive, they're called first. We use olive. This is our first olive bed. Uh, Shamuel, four and three. <clears throat> They'll call it first Samuel. But Shamuel can be for the name, the Shem. Let's say, Aleph Shamwal, the name of Allahim. Listen. And when the arm were come into the camp, the Zakan of Yasharal said, Wherefore hath Yahuwah smitten us this yum before the Philistine? Let us fetch the taba of the barith of Yahuwah. Back my back, verse 1. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the debar of Shamwal came to all Yasharal. Now Yasharal went out against the Philistine. They call it 1 Samuel, chapter 4. Listen, verse 1. To battle and pitched beside Ebenezer, and the Philistine pitched at Aphek. And the Philistine put themselves in array against Yasharal. Mm -hmm. And when they joined and when they joined battle, Yasharal was smitten before the Philistine, and they slew of the army of the field about 4,000 Anashim. Mm -hmm. And when the arm were come into the camp, the Zakan of Yasharal said, What did it say? Wherefore hath Yahuwah smitten us this yum before the Philistine? Hold what you got. See that, Yahuqanon? Let's see 19 and 1. Let's see that what I want. Listen to the book. Then Pilate therefore took Yahushua and scourged him, and the soldiers plaited a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Mimicking who? The ram. That's right, the ram. What was the ram? Why how you know it was the ram that Bush was mimicking? Because he was caught in the thickets. <coughs> he was caught in the briars. So we knew he had to die at that point, wouldn't we? When Abraham told to stay his hand, there was a ram well. And who did he slay? So what should we have known when we saw that on his head? That's the one we're going to slay. That's who we got to slay, the one caught in the thickets. Hello? So y'all didn't know what was going to happen? So we knew the one caught in the thicket, well, who we were going to slay? Let's see what happened in the third chapter of the book of Barashith. I'll come back to that. How about that? Barashith. Three and nineteen. This is the third chapter of the book of Barashith. They call Genesis and nineteen. Listen to the book. In the sweat of thy pine In the sweat of what? Thy pine. What happened? Shall thou eat lakam mm -hmm. till thou return unto the Aduma. Yeah. For out of it was thou taken. Mm -hmm. For dust thou art and? unto dust. Thou shalt return. Yeah. And Adam called his Asha. Shem. Verse 16. 14. See 314. Listen. And Yahuwah Elohim said unto the Nakash, 
because thou hast done this, thou art all I above all cattle. Cursed. And above, mm -hmm. and above every beast of the field, mm -hmm. upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat, shalt thou eat all the yamim of thy kai. What did we learn from the Nakash? How am I cool with no raise the hand? You say, you know. I just taught it. What is it? What you know? What you learn? He fell on it better. So what did you learn? He used to walk. What did you learn? What did you learn from what y'all just heard? Listen to what he said again. Listen to what he said at 3 and 14. Listen. And Yahuwah Elohim said unto the Nakash. What did he say? Because thou hast done this. Tell him what happened. Thou art all I above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat. So you should have learned that Yahushua became a curse, and he was cursed among everybody, above everybody. Those you should have learned. That's what they call him, the Kosh. In the 27th chapter of the book of Matthew, you'll find that they sat and they discussed. Jump down and get it from me right quick. Matthew, they call Matthew. Chapter 27. Let's see about verse 57. My boss give y'all a lot of information, y'all take it. Let's see. Listen to the book. When the even was come, what there happened? came a rich east of Arimathea named Yahusuf, who also himself was Yahushua Methodist. What happened? He went to Pilate and begged the body of Yahushua. Mm -hmm. Then Pilate Amar the body to be delivered. Listen. And when Yahusuf had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in the Aban, and he rolled a great Aban to the Dolph of the sepulcher and departed. What happened? And there was Marim Magdalene and the other Marim sitting over against the sepulcher. Now the next yum that followed the yum of the preparation, mm -hmm. the Rosh Kohanim and Pharisees came together unto Pilate. And what happened? Saying, Sir, what? we Zakar, we remember what? That that deceiver said. That that Nakash, that is what Ka'ua told us they call Eve. She said he deceived her. And that's what they were telling him. They remember when that deceiver, when that Nakash, when that serpent, Nakash is the Aubrey word for snake. So they remember that that serpent told them when while he was yet Kai. When he was on his feet. What happened? After three Yamim, I will Zarak again. See that? The Nakash were looking to get back up again. Mm. Hello? Mm. So the only reason I just imperative to you because we were taught that Yahushua became a curse. That's right. How far was the curse? How bad was the curse? The fact that he was cursed above everybody here. That's right. Hello? So there were some things had to be put in place that when we heard, this, this is what we're talking about again. We're talking about whatsoever things are written for a time, <coughs> written for. I'll learn. What do we say learning was? You see why we're going through looking? If you don't believe this, there's no need in trying to deal with this. We got to first understand what happened here. Remember, he told you he declared the end at Barashit. So if Yahushua was called a serpent, then I have to look at what was told to the Nakash. That he was going to be cursed above every beast upon the field. Mm -hmm. Amazingly, you're called an Adar. Right. You do that, that don't refer to a people, that refer to a flock, a foal of right. animals. Right. You're called an Adar. That's what you call a flock. A fold. 100. And one other book of Tahalim, they call song. Let's see what he said. It's called the praises, song. They tell my song. These are songs. No, Tahalim means the praises. 
Listen. I will share of recall. You don't do that anyway? Go ahead. You reading what, 101? Yes, sir. That's what I do. 100, verse 1. Did he read Qatar, brother? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Make a shusha noise unto Yahuwah. See, that shusha, the word for joy. Make a shusha noise unto Yahuwah, okay. all ye lands. I got my message. Serve Yahuwah with gladness. Come before his presence with shireen. Know ye that Yahuwah, he is Allahim. See that? Know ye that Yahuwah, he is Allahim. Tell him what he did. It is he that made, that hath made us. And? Not we ourselves. Yeah. We are his arm. Uh-huh. And the sheep of his pasture. Hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. What people we is now? We are his arm. And? The sheep of his pasture. So what you should have picked up now? And die. That he was going to be cursed above us. So now it would make sense that, let's see how we would do this. At the 15th chapter, verse 3, Romans 15 and 3. Shusha. I think it would be joy. I just kind of added that. Four. Let's see what he said. Romans 15 and 3. Listen to the book. For even Mashiach pleased not himself. Tell us what happened. But as it is written. Like what? The reproaches of them. That did what? That reproached thee. Did what? Fell on me. So let me ask you a question. What Torah you had that the serpent was told not to do that? So you need to ask yourself, why did the serpent wind up getting the curse? Hmm. Who was told not to eat of the tree? They were. They were. Do you have Torah where the serpent was told not to teach that? <clears throat> so who reproached Yahuwah? The man did, the Ish, the Asha, the woman. Who did it fall on? It fell on the Nikash. So as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee, he wound up being cursed above every creature of all the Adah. That's how we had to see him. Mm -hmm. That's how we had to see him. See, people are so busy reading, you just don't find where his, trans where his, trans um, his transgressions came in. See, you can't have a transgression unless there's a Torah. That's right. So what we had to do was intertwine Yahushua so he could get a transgression. That's right. We had to intertwine him. Torah had to be set up to get him. It did. That's not what we could get him. We had to make him and he came and he had to be our son, Ben. That's why he was called the son of man, Ben of man. Because your Torah taught you in the 20th chapter of the book of U Allah Shemut, Exodus, they call it, and these were the names. It told you that I visit the iniquities of who? The, the father upon who? The That's how we was able to get him. We had to be able to tie him in more than one way. You got to remember, if he's a serpent and if he wise, and he know how to see, he know how to get out of it. So we had to intertwine him where he couldn't get away from it. And the way we was able to tie him up of a surety was make him our son. Yes, Yahoo tried to tell you about it. You didn't even know you were pregnant at nine and six. They call it Isaiah. Listen. For unto us. See, uh uh, who? Us. You said unto Yahuwah. What happened? Unto us. What happened? A Yahweh is born. Unto who? Us. You said unto Yahuwah. Us. What happened? A being is given. That's how we did it. See that? That's how he did it. Hello? And listen, what else happened? And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Two things he got you with. He had to set it up this way for two reasons. One, so you can get the transgression. Let's show him the transgression before I come back. At the 20th chapter, U Allah Shemut, 20. Verse 4. U Allah Shemut. They call it Exodus. U Allah Shemut. 20. At verse 4. 
It's got to make sense. If it don't make sense, don't believe it. Scratch it from your table of beliefs. Don't put it in there. Anytime it don't lie to don't, you don't have, don't say, well, I'm going to do it because that's my pastor. There is no book. Even, Sh even Shaul, they call Paul so that you might learn in us. He said, these things have I transferred myself and Apollos for whose sake? That you might learn in us not to do what? Don't think of no man above what's written. That's right. So you can't take it and believe it because I just trust my pastor. There's not a scripture for that. There's not a law and it's not in the set of your beliefs. You have to believe it because it's written. That's all you got to, because it's written. That takes all the pressure off. O Allah Shemut, and these, and these were the names. TH is a plural. The mem at the end is a plural. So this is names, plural. Listen. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the Shamaim above. See that? Listen. Or that is in the Arats beneath. Listen what happened. Or that is in the Maim under the Arats. Tell them what happened, son. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Neither serve them. Nor for I, Yahuwah thy Allahim. Or is or who? A jealous Allahim. See that? Jealous. Tell what you do. Visiting the iniquity of, of who? The Abba. Well. Upon the Benin. How long? Unto the third and fourth to Ladah. And doing what? Of them that hate me. Yes. And shewing Rakam. Unto thousands of them that ahab me. See that? That don't make sense. <clears throat> the reason why it should make sense because you'll go back and you'll look at the Tula Doth, which is the generation of Yahushua when he came. He came through 42 generations. We should have been counting. We should have been counting. He thought I'd come in the fourth generation. <clears throat> he came in the, 42, in the 42nd generation. You know why he came to do? He came to visit them that hated him. And he showed recum to millions of them and thousands of them that are him. Hello? That's why he came and he told you what he did. Let's see what he told you in the fourth chapter of the book of Or, uh, or 4 and 16. They call it Luke. Oh, don't get me your Ukanon. They call it John. Fifteen twenty-two. Luke chapter four, they call it. Four and sixteen. Yaukanon. They call it Saint John. Write it down if you can't get it. Yaukanon means that Yahuwah is gracious. So just by the name, this is what we should have been looking for when we read the book. That Yahuwah was gracious. All right. This is Oriah. Chapter 4 at verse 16. Listen to the book. And this he, is where people mess up at. Listen. And he came to Nazareth mm -hmm. where he had been brought up. <coughs> and as his custom was. Listen, he came to Nazareth where he was born. Where he had been brought up. That's where people mess up at. You know he was born in Nazareth. He never told you that. You just got to listen. He would say, that's right. They left Nazareth when they kind of paid taxes in the second chapter. The book told he went to Yehuda because that's where they were from. He only grew up in Nazareth. Sometimes you'll have people grow up in a state. People say, that's where you're from. That's not where I'm from. That's where I was reared at. That's right. Because the scripture had to be fulfilled. He should be called. So that's the only way he was there. Scripture had to be fulfilled. Right. We look for a man to be able to show and depict and display the same characteristics we've seen Shamshun. What did we learn about Shamshun at the first? Before he was captured. We didn't know what his strength was. That's what we had to learn with Yahushua. Which means he was going to have to sit down, and you ain't going to believe it, and tell us all his law. Hello? That's what he did with them. He sat down and told because we didn't know what his strength was. That's right. Not until he sat down and told us all his law. That's right. Right? Yes, sir. We had to know that. So it was important when we heard of Nazareth, we knew somebody from Nazareth. It was a guy real strong. We knew that this man was able to take a lion and tear it. He said, just like a man, a rent a kid, mm -hmm. a little goat. And he had what? In his hand. Do you know when he sat down at the table to feed them, he took bread, Lacan, and broke it and said, Tate, he just tore, he just tore a Ari, a lion. Because right. he said it was his body. <clears throat> yeah. 
He was called a Nazarene. That's right. Shamshun was known for taking a lion and he killed it and tore it and he had nothing in his hand. Don't you know Yahushua took bread and broke it and gave it to him and he had nothing in his hand? He didn't take a knife and say, let me cut you a piece of it. He picked it up and he broke it. He had to do it there. Do not support that word that he didn't take a knife and cut up and hand it to us. That's right. He had to pick it up and break it with his hands. That's right. So because we were told he shall be called a Nazareth. He did, all he had to do was just cut it with a knife. And you know what? A lot of you, if you were Christian and full of antics, you'd have believed it. But for me, if I know that no Torah, I can't believe nothing he said. Not if he said, take, eat, this is my body, he cut it with a knife. That's not a book for me. Not if you're supposed to be the Ari or the Tri or the Mata of Yehuda, that That's they call right. the lion. A lion, actually, the name for us is called Ari. That's why the female is called Ari all. So it's Ari for a man. Now, the book said he was the Ari of the Mata. Oh, yeah. They said, try, it's the Mata of Yahuwah, of Yehuda. So now he already set himself up, and then he was going to display to us how he was going to take and he was going to tear with his own hands, having nothing in it. I did with took bread, and he just changed the similar to. So this similar to me. That's right. That showed his durability that we learned from who? The olive. The only people going to understand it, people that understand what the olive was. Most durable animal we had of all that we ever had. Simply because he can defend, he can protect, he can dig, he can supply, and you can also clothe you. That's, we had to see all those abilities in him. Hello? Are y'all get it? Y'all good? Y'all want to cut off now? Because there's too much we don't understand and you've been believing something. It don't even line up with the set of beliefs. If somebody asks you, I just, because it's in now. That's not no reason. That's not a reason because it's not systematically set up. What I'm giving you, I'm trying to get you to understand the system. This is why I believe it. They missed it. You ask these people, ask when you should talk. When he come back, see, he's going to kill a lion. There you go again. Already stupid. Because people want to believe something outside because you don't understand. What we have and people don't understand is coded. Yeah, that's right. This is what they do to you. Unicode. Y'all familiar with that? This is short for universal. You just don't know it. That's short for universal. This is a right side. This is a system that they use and where they use it numerically on you. You just don't know it. That every one of that, every one of these letters, these Greek, Roman letters, the Greeks mainly, is where you start and then the Latins got there secondly. What's important for you that every one of these have a numerical value. That's right. Encode or encoding. That's all they do. When you see all those bars going across there, all they're doing is doing encoding. That's right. They just took words and changed them into numerical value and they system and they switched them over on you. You're not smart enough to keep up with them. That's why I miss you who are hiring them. Because mm -hmm. you're not going to pay attention to them. They kill you with unicoding and they kill you with encoding. You don't know the easy way for them to put it up is to put in a numeric system. That's right. Alpha numeric. That's right. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't scare yourself. If I was y'all wouldn't follow me either, I don't have a degree. Don't worry about it. I don't want him to throw you anymore. So we sat down and see the importance of when we watch him, because what we're trying to do is do a system called decoding. Mm -hmm. He's saying that he's doing things and they and it's been hid from us. So now we're coming back and we're trying to decode it. Y'all know what that is? What is it? Let's just use a computer system. They put it in a byte. You got about eight of them. That's how they'll hide and they'll put it up from you. These people have a system. They first used the word in about 1956. Mm. 
These people got a lot of stuff that they do around you and they use you. And these people have been following the same romantic system they've been following for years. You just don't know it. Black people just not smart enough. Why would we? First of all, we're not Roman. We're not Latin. We're not Greek. These people working so many systems around us and on us, it's impossible to keep up with all of it. That's why I told you, the only thing we can do is stay on the premise of salvation. Yes, yeah, sure. Y'all got it? That's the only way you're going to win and defeat these people. I don't have time. They got too many things working against you. And you have no idea how they're doing it. But they're working you. All right, don't worry about that. Let's finish up what he did. Or y'all 4 and 16. Listen to the book. And he came to Nazareth. I don't want nobody thinking me above that which they hear they read. Listen. Where he had been brought up. See that? Where he had been brought up. And as his custom was. Tell him what he did, son. He went into the sun again on a Shabbat Yun. That's right, sun again. They told you synagogue, sun again was their original word. Synagogue is just a place where Jewish people meet. The sun again, they looked at, that's where we gather. We gather where the sun was, the Shamash. White people, see, the people that came originally saw you, they knew who you were. They knew who you were. That you met where the sun rose at. Now you go to church. They play you. What you expect? Listen, everything you know about these people is only what they told you. That's right. You can't be the person that all you know about them is just what they told you. I got to be the systematic and go back and find to be true or evident. That's right. Hello? I'm trying to think. What is that? I see it. I think it's Archaeus. Archaeus. This is what the Greeks want us to believe. You know what that means? Innocent. Mm -hmm. It means innocent. It's a problem with the word, though. It contradicts. They use a prefix on it to throw you off. It actually means they're evil. Mm. But they put it together because they want you to think they were evil. They want you to think they were innocent. You can put the word out so they can say it. I don't want you to just take what I tell you. You find against people that's working you the whole time. Wow. People name their child out of them. See, a lot of stuff we being worked. And see, this, this is what hurt us. When, when we go through, and I'll use um, the uh, lexicon, because they're going to deal with linguistics. I use Google. I use Webster. I use Merriam. I'll go through them, but I'm checking everybody. Got it? That's why I try to tell you. I know some of y'all, y'all go, y'all trying to find stuff, trying to get ahead of stuff. If y'all just find, you know what? That's why, the, let me tell you what happened. For a shepherd, just on the corner, when he leading a dog or whatever, you never see them leading him. Nope. You see what I'm saying? That's why in the, you look in the 23rd division of the th 23rd Talim, he said, Yahuwah is my, I shall not. He making me the lie in green pasture. He, I take him where? Because you stupid. Why would he tell you he leads you by the still water? What do you know about that? Chaos. He keeps me from chaotic situations, Leon. It's going to become chaotic if I lead myself. If I start to rate my own way, it's going to be a mess. So he leaves me where it's calm. That's something you know, but why did, why, did, why did he refer to the water as calm? Because we knew that the mem, chaos. This is what he was trying to keep me from. He was leading to keep me away from chaos. Y'all got it? 
That's important when he came down and they was on the ship. And the ship was being tossed. Why? Cause of chaos. And when he got up, you know what he said? Shalom. And you know they want to know what manner each this will even the spirit and the people obey him. Hmm. We learned later that the mem was actually referring to people and that the wind referred to the ruach. Yeah. So the ruach obeys him, but they had to understand it from a natural set. It didn't make sense to teach them that the people were my aim until they first seen what the actions were of it. You see how chaotic it is? And once I speak to it, it fear me. You know where they just learned that from? I don't. If I'm going to have control of the fish in the sea, I got to control the yum too. Hello? I dumb had to have that type of control. That's what we had to learn to know about him. What sense if he didn't, how is he going to be in my image after my life and I'm going to let him have? Dominion. Dominion? Over? It's to keep chaos down. That person having a raw, and a raw I will have a, a wow. lamed. The staff, that's right. They had to shorten the lam, lamed. Y'all got it? And he would use this to do what? Instruct. Sometimes, how many of y'all remember being in school? And, uh, and he had teaching, they would teach, they had a ruler. They, what's up, man? He's talking, he be, he's like, goodness. They, get, they would get your instruction, but right quick, or they're taking their pat of you. That's why he had it, so he can instruct, he could guide. The lumber could guide with it. Because once he get one, he could set, guess what he could do? He could set, if these two hypothetical animals, I, I could separate, they keep bumping in, I said, you come, come over here, back, 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 get him back. That's what he did, keep chaos down. If you don't understand that, how you gonna know it? That's right. You can't walk in some people you don't know. So now you got to look at everything that you see the Greeks and the Latins did. They all basically perpetrate off of you. They all pinned off of you. The only problem is you've gotten well disciplined in their stuff just enough to fool you and you don't really know what you're doing with it because they have a whole system running on you when you come over here. Then you need to come back and learn our system. Got it? Yes, sir. And learn the importance of it. Yes, what I had you read? Oh, yeah. Where are we on? 4 and 16? Yes, sir. Let's finish that up right quick. I know y'all forgot why we were using it, though. But I'll come back and tell you that, too. So not everybody. <laughs> like he said, not all. This is 4 and 16 of Oriah. They call the book of Luke. Someone might call him Uncle Luke. Not this one, the other one. <laughs> not this one, the other one. Now listen to what he did. And he came to Nazareth, <laughs> where he had been brought up. And what happened? As his custom was. What did he do? He went into the sun again on the Shabbat Yun. He went into where, the, where they gathered, where the sun, where the Shamash was, which we also know again, this would put them what they call in Asia. Asia doesn't mean Oriental. That's what they told you. They only, the Greeks, when they came, they only used the terminology and they came with Asia because they recognized that's where the Shamash rises. They recognized that's where you were and they called that region Asia. So now when you went to school and they taught you, they said these areas are in Asia. The first thing you start thinking is slant your eyes and get 50 egg rolls for $5. <laughs> <laughs> Think of, what, let's be honest, whenever you hear Asia, what, is it, what, what comes in your mind? Chinese. Oriental. Because that's what they taught us. Virtually, that's where we originated from. We originated from where the Shamash rises. Then they come and tell you, these people are Asian Oriental. And you wonder why the Chinese people are suffering? Because they helped to perpetrate a lie. That's right. They'll show you their, their flag and they'll show you a big red sun over it. Yeah. They'll put on their clothes because everybody came trying to depict you. Everybody tried to copy you. That's right. You just didn't know it. These people are not teaching us nothing. As long as you dump in money places, they'll continue to tell you lies to make you feel good. That's right. You, sir, you, ma'am, are Asian. You are Oriental. That's where you originated from. I know Hachikaji at home just crying. Tears. <laughs> tears like, ah! 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 They just written out the back of the head. Ah! Ah! Mama son! Mama son! <laughs> Woo! Well, hey, we 
told me that the boy the last night, I'd like to die, boy. I said, I got to tell that on live streaming. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, this is what we need to know. So, by help me out. Put facts up here so they can see that. Asia. I don't want to tell them that. Put, put it up, Asia. We'll find out where it comes from. We can go to their Google. And we'll put it up. So, we'll, I don't want y'all to just take some because I told you. We talked about that, didn't we? Let's look in so we'll know. They don't scare me with their Google. They don't scare me with their Marion Webster. <coughs> then they got scared me because you got to remember, they got a purpose of why they gave it to you. Right? That's right. Unicode. You need to remember that. Universal. You know, universal mean globally? That's right. That mean a whole, that mean bastards all over the world got together. That's right. And there's a consensus to hide and to encode words numerically. Don't you know all these races that you see and you deal with that you think are not a part, they got your whole plight, our plight against white people. How do you come up with Unicode if this is short for universal and nobody else is playing a part of it? Then it's not Unicode. Military wear something too. What is it called? Uniform. You know all military is well. It's a consensus. Police uniform. You'll watch them. You'll see all the people. I don't care. They only spit it. It be police. Yeah. Police cop. Yeah. All had the same uniform because it's universal. Everybody had gotten together and got a consent. You don't find no police uniform where they got uh, no thong on. Well, I'm sorry. Except for the uh, village people. <laughs> Young men. <laughs> Ain't that right? Except for them. That's right. Oh my God, let's see this. Asia. This in 13th century from the Latin Asia, from Greek Asia, specula speculated to be from Akkadian, uh, Akkadian, whatever. They got ASU, A S U, to go out to rise in reference to the sun. Thus, the land of the sunrise. That's what they don't tell you. Now, now you'll find different meanings from when you go into it. Like you'll see it, the ASU. So I'm going to have it as ASA. Y'all got it? So you can see this does not refer to what you thought if they taught you Oriental or of uh, uh, a persuasion of people that are of a, almost a yellow tear. I think they call them Chinese people. They do. I said, I think they call refer to them as yellow. Right? They kind of refer to them as yellow. And you'll see the slant in eye and they'll tell you these people are Asian. True enough, they do see a part of the sun, but not from the standpoint of what we would have saw it. Hello? It's important for you to know that. See, when Greeks came along, the Greeks came and did a lot of damage to us. When the Greeks came in, <coughs> what the Greeks? The Romans. Let's see. I think I spelled that right. Benzentine. Maybe I try to drop the N. You said Byzantine? Oh, Byzantine. Well, you can buy some teen or you can sell something. Whatever you want to do. Don't make me no difference. Everybody do your own thing. It's Byzantine. Stop it. No, he's good. No, you're right. Byzantine. Well, it's important for you because this is another form of the Roman Empire. This is just how they translate. See, this is why I told y'all before. See, none of these people are different. This is still, you're still dealing with the Roman Empire. All they did was they changed their name simply because they came and they put their establishment where? In Constantinople. Constantine established a place over in Turkey. So they put this and they changed their name here to try to look as though they had actually, they had actually ascended from Asia. This is how tricky these bastards are. They're the same people. They're not different. All they did was moved over from Albania, moved over from Georgia, all these other little European countries, and came and settled right into Turkey. That's why Turkey is such an essential place. Because <coughs> Turkey gives them a runway right into Europe. Most of y'all didn't know that. I know you don't know that. That's why it's essential for these people. Because they go in and out. You can travel in and out from Turkey to Europe. When these people are escaping from what you call Syria, the real name Amram, 
They're taking they're going into they're going into Europe. How? All these people not going to ship, you can cross over from Turkey. That's right. <laughs> That's why Turkey is fighting Amram that you call Syria. Because the people are crossing over and Europe is blaming them for the traveling of people. Because Europe looked at that's how we came over to you. We want to know. Look, when we watch the news, we don't pay no attention. What's essential when they came through Constantinople? The water on the side of them? That's what's on the side of Turkey. Now you tell me how white people from here, and it's called a black sea. You know why the water black? Because the people were black. Let me ask you a question. Any y'all ever took a bath? Yeah. When you was a kid? Yeah. And you got in the water from coming outside. What happened to the water? The water was black because the people were black. Why would they teach you this? Who are you that, if I taught you, they got to look at this. If you learn stuff like this, don't you know this will contradict everything you've been taught and told? Everybody you see from a European or from the Eastern, um, Middle Eastern area are all of a lighter color than you. That's they right. won't show you, it's rarely you will ever look at a show, a picture that'll show you people, your kids, skin, and there's a bunch of us there. Right. Everybody show you white skin to Saudis, white skin to Indian people, yeah. and white skin to Turkey. Turkey won't show you no black people in their government, they won't show Go into Mizraim, Egypt, plenty, we're all there. But they'll always show you white-skinned people. Because you will begin to question if you saw us. That's how inquiries the world to tell you about Byzantine and to get you to convince <clears throat> that this is where they derived from. But they knew they needed to change. I can't say I'm from the Middle East if I'm Roman. But if Constantine came into here and established a church in the Turkey, what you got in my pen? Istanbul, here. Let me what, what I got here, Bulgaria. Ooh, that's so clear, Boston. I'm gonna tell you, give me your patch. <laughs> I see two of them. <laughs> Patches, I'm depending on you, son. Hold on. Everybody get in spirit. Y'all ain't gonna give me no medical treatment. Where we at? Over here? Is this Istanbul? Oh yeah, I'm sorry, Istanbul. So you see this travel way here to go into Europe? Bulgaria, you see all this here? I think over here would be like Albania somewhere. See all these people, they right over, they cross over. This is how these people came over to us. Now these people came in and migrated and mixed with the people. When they came into Istanbul, it's the capital of Turkey. Which means the Turks had to fight to take this back from them. Because this was actually Constantinople. Constantine came here, he established a church here in the East. So white people could get you convinced that the church started there. That Jesus Christ, a lad name, established the church in the East. But yet when we read here, he came to Nazareth. And he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the sun again. When? On the Shabbat. Year. But Constantine gave you the church and told you it was Sunday. If the people want to be authentic and do what he did, and follow him, what would Jesus do, if they say? They should be going at night. Because he had already got up before the Shemash rose. Mm hmm they shouldn't even be going to church in the daytime. They should be going at night if they say right. they follow him. That's right. Because he got up after the Shabbat. That's right. Which means after the Shabbat said. That's we right. know that because he didn't do any work on the Shabbat. That's right. So when it ends, it when? Sunset. When the Shabbat said, Layla. Which means if you want to be authentic, if you're a church, you should be only going at night. Yeah. Because when they got there, it was dawning toward. The Kuf, which is the sun on the horizon. This was something they knew. See, everything was essential and important for them. Every alabeth that they used was something they knew and they dealt with. They knew being in the east, we can see the sun, Shamash, 
rise on the horizon. Mm. When she got there, this is where it was. But the Malachi that they call angel, which is a Greek terminology of something mystical that does not exist, is a Malachi. Why Malachi? Because that's a messenger. That's right. Mal a key messenger typically his messenger that's why when she got there he wasn't there he left a messenger there to tell him he was not there but he had done what wow Koof. the sun was already up where on the horizon see they made our way so complicated that's right you're dealing with people <laughs> In creation, starting out. What 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 says it gonna talk you about telepathic? What we're gonna do talking you about spirit? You just getting here. Right. The first thing I need to get you to understand is where you are, what happens here. Understand how everything you deal with works from nature, from the ground, from the womb, all the things you need to understand. Then we'll create a Hieroglyphic system where we'll use pictograms. They want to wrote sentences, they use pictograms. When they first came over, when the when the white man came over, he said he found the Indian, that were our writings. That's right. Those people couldn't have been indigenous. They were Spanish. Spanish weren't even indigenous to this land. This is Mizraim. We already had been in and out and were still traveling back and forth from him. That's right. Reason you'll find on the cave, they drew, they were writing hieroglyphs. That's how people wrote. The Greeks transferred us over into an <clears throat> alphabet system. Hello? That's right. They were still writing in hieroglyphs. That's right. They would draw pictures of people on horses. That's right. Then they would take hands sometimes and scrub across and show the people on the ground. That's right. To let you know that a disease came through wipe them out. and wiped them out. That's right. Hypothetical, let me see. This is a for now, right? Oh, you want to ride that horse? Don't play that. Ride the white horse. <laughs> white horse. Don't try to play it. Did you mean that? I used to smoke cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, y'all see this? Now what it is? Okay, so now you will see man on horse riding. Something coming through another people. Something coming through. So it lets you know that something came through. A person, a disease. A wind, and now they're on the ground, they're dead. You could understand that from the picturegram. That they were up, that something came through and now they were down. Or you will use these men on a horse coming toward these men, and then you find the men down. We'll let you know there was an attack. It was a frontal assault. This side lost, and that's how they died. Now, you could get all that from pictogram. White people came in, they started making us use alphabets. Right. That they had a numerical system for. Right. You account A is one, B is two, three. That's not how he does it. That's not his number system. Coded. Here's a different, it's coded. Okay. So now when he put it in there, it's encoded. That's how you do it. It's encoded. Hello? Am I messing y'all up? I just need y'all to kind of understand how many systems are working. So you come in, no way to do this in 30 minutes and set you down in 10 minutes and send you out. It's too many things working that you don't know. It's too much being done to us. And you'll assume you got a grab on something, and you'll just grab this book and run that door. You got a whole truth. You don't. You don't. So we had to come through. We got to work it. We got to check Google. We got to check lexicon Greek, lexicon Hebrew, that they call it. We got to run through. Then they keep saying lexicon Greek, lexicon Greek, when some of it is actually Latin. Yeah. Why don't you call it lexicon Latin? That's right. All the, lex all the Romans did was came and picked up and perfected better what the Greeks didn't do to us. That's right. The Roman been the longest rulers over you. Yes, sir. 
You still, you football seven foot when the Super Bowl come up, it's Roman, it's Roman numerals. You go to a Roman court system. That's why you got the pillars and the columns. That's why you got the judge. That's why you have Latin writing across the judge's state. Because that's Latin. That's not English. You're in America. So you thought, which is an Italian name. <clears throat> Amerigo is actually Italian. Did you that's know that right. name? Yes, sir. Why you think so many Italians come here? That's right. Hell, it's their country. The name is not America. It's Amerigo because he's Italian. That's right. They named this place after an Italian, which makes sense because you're going through an Italian system, law system. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Tight. Everything they do, it got you. You went through a Greek system first, then they put you through a Roman system. Yahushua went through a Roman system. That's right. Same system you go through. Same system. That's why he told you, I dare any of you having a matter against the other to go before the who? Russia. The, the Russia. He said a Torah first, the law. He said, and that before the unjust. He called them unjust. He called them in their system unjust. That's what Shaul told you. He already seen the system. The system let him be. He sat and argued with the system. He was skilled in the law. That's right. He told them about their law. That's he right. tried to tell them what their law didn't do. That's right. He tried to show years ago, you cannot be vindicated through their law. That's why we have a Shafatim, which is a vindicator. That's you right. don't get it with him. That's our purpose of Yahushua coming. We were looking for him to come because he was vindicated. They gave you a book saying judges. It only makes sense because you go to court, who judges you? Judge. A judge. We had Shafatim. That's one that vindicates. Mm. That's right. Oh, when you went to the judge, he could be vindicated. That's right. That's right. He's supposed to clear the innocent and condemn the wicked. That's right. Yes, sir. Wow. It's tight. Tight. The reason why I got to tell you this, because you have no being looking at this book if you don't know what's going on out there. Yeah. You'll be thinking you're losing the whole time. You'll be bound right here. Be bound through ignorance and stupidity. So at that important we come here, we got to make sure we understand. Right? That he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, not where he was born. And as his custom was, he went into the sun again. On the Shabbat Yun and stood up for him. To read. Tell him what happened. And there was delivered unto him the Sefer of the Nabi, Yeshayahu. That's what our book is called. It's actually called a Sefer. Listen. And when he had opened the Sefer, he found the Malkum where it was written. He found the place where it was written. The Ruach of the Adon is upon me. See that? Tell him how. Because he hath anointed me. See that? He has anointed me. That's what a Mashiach is. An anointed one. He's telling the people that he is the Mashiach. The anointed one. They told you the Christ. Christ is actually an English derivative of the word Christos. <clears throat> Christos means to rub with oil. The only problem we got, the Greeks never had anything they rubbed with oil but themselves. So when you go and talk about he's the Christ, it don't only make sense if you're going to believe their Greek transition that they gave you. That's what they call it because you said anointed. They call it Christos. They just don't have anything they ever anointed with it. You can do anything and put oil on it. Your knee hurt, put oil on it. That's actually Christos. <laughs> That's not the same thing. This man is telling us that he's the Mashiach. That's right. We were talking about we were looking for the anointed one of Allahim. They gave you some anything could be a Christos. Anything. You put on your foot. That's Chris. That's Christ. See, where they get you at, you say, first they get you to saying, well, it's just like we might say, um, excuse me, in Spanish, por favor. Right? I think, excuse me, please. See, that's the only thing different. It's a different when you start telling me what's the workings of your word and definition right. versus what I was meant. We don't call everything no Mashiach. Right. Hello? Christos could be anything. Right. That's the problem. But they'll think they're on the same run. It's the same thing. It's just word. It's not a word play. You've been played. Mm -hmm. The man was telling me that he was the Mashiach. Tell him what else happened. The Ruach of you, who is upon me for his anointed me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> that man agreeing with me? You probably been reading it? 
The Ruach of the Adon is upon me because he has anointed me. See that? To do what? To Kahala, the Debar. See that? To preach? Whether it be a preacher, a lecture. Well, I said, I have run to me to preach. Yeah, Kahala. Preacher, this Kahala is the preacher's TH plural. It's kind of like Basar. Proclaim. Um, Basar. Some of like uh, B A S A R Basar. Was also come in with no flesh to preach. I said to preach, proclaim good news. Let's look it up and say, how about we do that? That would be good news to people that are sitting in a distressed situation. That's right. Y'all know that? Sure. That's what he was doing. Listen. Oh, you get oh. Boy, that thing over oh, there could talk like I get them to do it. <laughs> well, look at them, let's see. That way we make sure we write, won't y'all just copping down then. Make sure we're all on the same page. Da, 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 da. We use a steady light box or we using something else? Preach. Preach up, we're going to Kahalath, right? No, he didn't say he made him a preacher. He said he anointed him to preach, <coughs> which would be for us to proclaim a good news. And that's good news to people that have been waiting on it. That's right. That's still a tie right back where I want you. Because he will be showing recom to those that are harboring. That's right. That's what he will be doing. So it will make sense when he make these statements. Because the people that are harboring, this would be definitely something they want to hear. That's why it was so important when he was there, what he was doing in operation. The fact that somebody had to know something about him, too. The fact that he came in and gave him the book. That's right. this customary that something you would get, that you would get up and you just give anybody the book? Mm -hmm. That's probably how these people get up and just say, let the high of the spirit lead. Right. That wouldn't make sense. That's right. If he's sitting there and they gave him the Torah, our book teaches that the book of Malachi, that they call Malachi, that the, that the Kahan lips should seek, keep, keep knowledge. That's right. And that the people should seek the Torah at, at his, his mouth. mouth. The book said, for he is the Malachi, or Allahim, the messenger. Mm. So why would, you buy, why would you be giving him the book unless there's something distinctive about him? Right. That's right. There's got to be something distinctive about him to give him the book. Right. Why would you get, do you just call, is this something we ordinarily or customarily do, just hand people books? No. When the book told you to ask now the Kuhan concerning the who? Torah. That's tight. Oh, why are you looking that up for me? Pick me up at the eighth chapter. Say the eighth chapter book of Yukonan. Yukonan, they call John. Listen to the book. Yahusha went unto the horror of olives, and early in the morning he came again. He went to again. the Mount of Olives. Olives. Mm -hmm. He came again into the Mashakan, and all the arm came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. Mm -hmm. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a asha taken in adultery, and when... They had set her in the midst. They say unto him, Adon. What, what did they say? This Asha was taken in adultery in the very act. So let me ask y'all a question. Did we have a, what you want to call it? Like a law or something against that? Yeah, Why were they asking him? Exactly. Because they knew he was a Kohan. That's right. They knew he was a Kohan. Your book teacher in the book of Kaga, they call Haggai in the second chapter. It told you to ask now the Kohan concerning the Torah. That's right. Now they just caught a woman in the very act of adultery. They didn't say he was there. They said they brought her to him. Yep. What did you not know <clears throat> that they did know? Mm. Hello? 
handed it to me. They knew that he was a con. The book said they brought her. It'd be different. He just happened to be right there. And ain't nobody else here. So let me ask you, stupid. See? But the fact that they brought her all the way to him. And you asking him concerning a matter of the Torah. Hold you guys. Say that the book of Kagi, chapter 2. They call it Haggai. The name is actually Kagi. Kagi. See if that two and nine. Listen to the book. The kabood of this latter house shall be greater than of the former, saith Yahuwah of Saboth. Mm -hmm. And in this Malkum will I give shalom, saith Yahuwah of Saboth. Mm -hmm. In the four and twentieth yom of the ninth Yarik, in the second year of Darius, came the Debar of Yahuwah by Kagi. The Nabi saying, Thus saith Yahuwah of Saboth, Ask now the Kahan concerning the Torah. You said do what now? Ask now the Kahan concerning the Torah. So adultery is a matter of your Torah. Why did they bring her to him? When it was a Kohan. They had to know he was a Kohan. That's tight. Mm. That's tight. Say that 21. 22, 21, Matthew. Matthew, they call it Matthew. Matthew. It means the gift of Allahim, the gift of Yahuwah. I'm sorry. And the reason why that's imperative and important to us because that book gave you the Tula Doctor of Yahushua, and that told you then when he was born. So that's how we knew it was a Barak, a gift. That's why it's called Matthew. Because Matthew declared unto us the gift of Allahim. Make sense? That's when we learn about his Tula dog. Right? That's how we learn how he was born and what wise it was, how it happened. What we got? Mm hmm Basa. To be fresh, to be cheerful, to announce. See? Make sense? To announce glad news. Got it? Messenger, preach, publish, show forth, bear, bring. So that's what he was doing. He was public, or he was showing forth. Because you know what they're going to tell us later? The eyes of all of them were fasting on him. Carry, preach, good, tell good tidings. So that ties into what we were reading here in the book of U'Allah Shemut, the 20th chapter. When he told you, I, Yahuwah, I visit the iniquity of the fathers. Where? How long? Unto them that do what? Hate me. And showing what? Unto who? That's why he says. That's why he was there to announce it. He was he was announcing that Elohim was actually had given them the gift. Or or is light. This book is telling he was manifesting light. Look at that. Show forth. That's what light does. The bear. Y'all got it? Or carry. Y'all don't know light can carry. Hello? Okay, so it makes sense now when we see these things versus just listening to them, just take and assume we know something. Hello? That's our goal to be better. See, when you get this now, you better equipped when you read. Shaul declared, hold you guys, second chapter, see that, da, 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 three and one, see right quick, the book of Ephesians. Let's see what he said right quick. And I jump back, go back, get it cleared up, and then we get finished with it. Because you're going to have to get lit. That's right. Listen to the book. Ephesians 3 and 1. Listen to the book. For this cause, I shall do what? The prisoner of Yahushua HaMashiach. Which mean he will be well? In the bath. He's in the bath. Don't forget, that's the dungeon. Right? The house. In the land. Or in the family. See, all that correlated inside the bath. He said he's a prisoner. So the man said he has me in the dungeon. There, therefore, now no condemnation. You ain't going to believe it. Well. That's in his dungeon. That's in his mishpah car. That's in his house. That's in his land. That was the purpose of putting us in Jerusalem. So there wouldn't be no condemnation. Everywhere else you would condemn. That's right. When we tried to tell Pharaoh that we were going to go keep a feast with him, get what he told us. 
Why you, why you going to try to leave work? Work, that's wrong. We will condemn. So the only way to keep you from condemnation was to put you somewhere where there was no law against the servitude of him. Pharaoh had a law in Mizraim. Hello? That don't make sense. The man just told you he was a prisoner in the bath. That's the dungeon. Listen. For you Gentiles. Listen what happened. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the Khan of Allahim. Which was what? Given me to yourd. For who? How that by Kazun. Yeah. He, he made known unto me the hidden truth. Because it got mystery, hidden truth. That's all the mysteries are hidden truth. What he wants to do? As I wrote a four in few dabarim. You said you were just talking in the spirit. What did you do? As I wrote a four in few dabarim. Because you got to believe something written. That's why he said he wrote it before. So he wrote it before and he's telling you what is it doing now? Just give me another witness. Your law said at the mouth of two or three witnesses. Come on, I need y'all sharpen. You fine. That's why the importance of why is, if you done said it before, why are we talking about it again? Because your Torah is, it had to be in the mouth of two or three witnesses. So he only wrote this and said it one time. You ain't gonna believe it, Justin. I ain't gotta believe it. You know what I say? See, you, you ain't right. See, you don't want, I'm not right. <laughs> I'm only following the Torah. The man said, as I wrote a four in two, in few words, which means now this is another witness. Hold your God. See that second Corinthians right quick, 13 1. I got to put book on. See, this is the problem. We just been running believers that you don't have a witness. It makes no sense. Where's your witness? Second Corinthians 13, 1. Listen to the book. This is the third time. How many times? The third time. I'm confused. This is what now? Third time. What you doing? I'm coming to you. What's the purpose then? Why you keep coming back? You in stupid the, or something? In the mouth of two or three witnesses. They're going to tell you at the mouth, out of the mouth. Or how many? Two or three witnesses. What you want me to do? Shall every debar be established. Now listen to the third chapter again in the book of Ephesians and see does it make sense for us? I don't want you to just believe something called me Shaul just said it. It still got a line inside your... Your systematic belief doesn't change. I like Shaul's writings, but I can't change my systematic set of beliefs because I like his writing style. Then I veered. Now I'm my all. I transgress. Listen. Whereby, when you read... He gonna do that for real? How many y'all... How many... I can't... Did he read transgress? He's trying to You gonna start right there for real? What's the point why I went over there that you come back and drop down below it? Try it again. Let's just see where you're at. How that by Kazun he made known unto me the hidden truth. What happened? As I wrote a four and few Dabarim. See that? As I wrote a four. Meaning this has been stated more than one time. Because he's dealing with, listen, even though he's talking to Guin, other nation, Gentile. Don't you know nothing changed? You can say, well, you know how people tell her, well, if you're a Gentile, you don't have to do it. Where you get that from? When he said, he that believeth on me as the Yahudin that believe on me as the scripture. Whoever got the steel, it's the same pattern. That's right. Nothing changes because they're Gentile. It's not, how they going to be saved? How he going to come and save them differently? He going to save me. It's the same principle. The same elementary code, when you hear it, there has to be more than one witness. That's, right. That's why when he said that, he started talking about he don't have cars on. The, you said, the, like sometimes people tell a story like Mike, what would we be saying? Hold on for a minute now. <laughs> what would be the problem? We ain't never heard it before. <laughs> we ain't never heard that before. No, no, I was, this is a no stop. I ain't never heard that before. Because now it becomes questionable. We are the type of people, we make a lot of stuff become suspect, though. That's right. It's got to follow a certain specific standard. And he told us that, he said, this is the third time I came to you. And he tried to let you know what? At the mouth, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, that's how every word is supposed to be how? Established. Every statement. That's how it's verified. That's right. It's verified because it's counted more than one. <laughs> Listen. Military, government, let me tell you, when they get ready to set people in position that can do key things that can be detrimental and kill people, you ain't gonna believe it. You gotta have somebody to second it. You got to. 
If the president want to go to war, you know what they don't let him do? By himself. Go see Congress. Right. You got to have two. Where do you think they get that from? They got nuclear bombs over. You just can't send it out. Somebody got to come and authenticate it. You start getting our code. Somebody got to come along and authenticate those same number codes. That's right. Because they're detrimental. That's right. Don't you know what you're reading? They're detrimental. Somebody got to authenticate this thing. He said, I said it before in a few words. Tell them what he said. What about when you what? Read. What I supposed to do? You may understand. Then I lack understanding. I ain't realize he done told me this before. He didn't want me to error. They said, Mr. Yahuwah talking to a particular, uh, uh, a particular type of people who, who ears are not dull of hearing. You had to have an acute hearing. I had to pay attention to stuff like that. I can't miss stuff like that. He started popping off at the mouth. Time I did it one time, one time, one time, one time, one time, one time. I'm, I, I can't follow what you're saying. It ain't Tony stupid. It just, I, you ain't got nothing to authenticate what you're saying. Hello? Yahushua stood up at a muhadis and said, Any each thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Well, I'm just walk him there, follow my name, man, might piss in my mouth. What is he talking about? But then I got Torah that sent me back to the book of Zechariah, which means y'all has did what? Remembered. He remembered. Then I need to remember that he told me in the 13th chapter there was going to be a what? Fountain. A fountain open to who? Fountain. That's right, out of house of so it makes sense. What is it going to be for? Uncleanness. So it's going to be for purifying. That's right. So all this makes sense when I heard him say it, because I can authenticate his statement. That's right. This might be a sex move. Mm -hmm. You'll yeah, <laughs> get filled with something you don't want. That's right. This ain't what you want now. <laughs> Isn't that right? But just saying. That's how important, and you got to follow people. Listen, when people got a problem, what you want to know, when people got a problem with you trying to follow, you need to have a problem with them. Because the system wasn't set up for it to just be disguised where you don't get it. It was set up so you can understand. That's why he, why he didn't just tell them, where about you read, you just do what I told you to do. He said, you need to understand. How are you going to do something you don't understand? He said, I told you that before. So now when you read it, you understand it. <coughs> With me, he had to be a raw. Uh -uh. Cause that's what he was gonna give us. What he's gonna do? What now? Feed you. Who you know? Who you feed too? A flock. That's right. See, makes sense. You feed a flock. What are they gonna feed him? Knowledge and understanding. That's what he provided for. Him. That's right. He provided knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm. Hello. That's what he gave us. Somebody feed us with knowledge and understanding. Which means it's gotta get in. Then we're looking at something that's gonna nourish. Pick me right quick, Acts 2.37. That's it, 2.36. Am I throwing y'all? Y'all able to follow? Oh, I, I, I like what I do. I, 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 like, I like what I do. 2.36. Let's see where we go with this. Listen to the book. Therefore, let all the house of Yasharal know assuredly. Pay attention. Therefore, let all the who? House of Yasharal. Do what, what, is, what is a house? What are we, what are we going to refer that back to? Beth. Beth. What's the Beth? The land, land. family, prison. prison, dungeon, within and in. All is important. Therefore, let all the Beth of Yasharal. That's know. within or in. That's in the house, in the family, in the dungeon. Do what? No, assuredly. That who? Allahim. Had did what? Made that same Yahushua, whom you have crucified. Both what? Adon and Mashiach. Now when they did what? When they were, when they heard ho, ho, ho. this. When they were who? You when, read a quote. When I was You were probably in the spirit. Go ahead. <laughs> when they heard this. Now when they, when they heard this. They were pricked in their lives. Stop. And what happened? And said unto Cub. What happened? And to the rest of the apostles. What did he tell them? Anashim and Akim. Uh-huh. What shall we do? Tell them what he did. Then Cuff said unto them. Do what? Repent. And do what? Be immersed. How? Every one of you. How? In the Shem of Yahushua HaMashiach. Uh -huh. Yeah. For the remission of Qatar. Uh-huh. And ye shall receive the Barak of the Ruach HaKadosh. Stop. Important. Talking to the family. You know what the book tell us what Timotheus told us? That Shaul told Timotheus about a man. 
concerning his house. He'll save. So what now? That's right. Both of y'all been studying. Just follow me and study what I'm teaching. <laughs> They're in the spirit. He talked about, no, y'all, I just put it out. In the fifth chapter, he told, if any man don't provide for his best, especially for them of who? So we're talking about within, correct? So we know he's talking about the family. So when we look at the best here, we know he's got to be talking about the family. Okay? We told the whole, all the house, so we know he's talking about within. He has to be talking about the best within the family, right? Because we know that Shaul talked about any man providing not for his own. Those within his house. He is worse than the infidel and had the Amunah. Now, what's tight? Now, when they heard this, the Zen, it cuts. Important about the Zen. The Zen is used to cut. This is a tool that they used when they were going out and they were harvesting. You'll put the sickle to the wheat. You take the Zen and you'll cut it. The reason why you're cutting and taking it in, so you can nourish the family. That's what he was doing. He was nourishing them with the Zen. The only people going to understand this are people that know the tool or understand the olive bear. Why would you tell me they were cut? Because that's what you do when you start taking away crops. You cut them. So you could take it in, you could nourish the house. That's why he needed the whole house to know he would nourish them. See, this is what messed up some people. Just to have that, I'm cutting tight, I'm cutting down you hard. He get pissed, get hurt, he leave. He don't understand, I'm trying to nourish you. If I'm using the bar. Yeah. Yeah. See, you know they ain't run out, you ain't believe what they at. What we gonna do? Yeah. Sit down and eat. Because I'm nourishing you. Mm. So exactly, how did y'all understand the statement? Now, when they heard this, they were cut. That's what the Zen does. This is one of your olive the Zen. It nourishes. Because you're cutting away crops. Foods that you're going to take in and you're going to use to feed. <laughs> I approve this now. Who would that make that statement? Then who stood up? Cough. Who they call Peter. This is olive cough. They call it First Peter 5 and 1. Let's see what he said. My boss ain't, he's, he ain't going to let me be wrong. Olive Cuff 5 and 1. Let's see what he said. Listen to the book. There's a con. They, they call it 1 Peter chapter 5. But it's Olive Cuff. Now I need y'all to learn what the cough is. The cough is one of your olive beth. This is what he actually named who they call Peter. He actually <coughs> named him Cough. K A P-H. What you can do with this is detain the hand. You know sometimes you're going to tell you, boy, you can't slap your face. You know what that make you do? It tame because you'll stop doing what you're doing, wouldn't it? Take that thing and slap your face with it. So it's used to tame. Guess what they did with Yahushua? They were, guess what they were doing? They was taming them. They understood what the cuff was. They understood it was the hand, the flat open hand. They knew you could tame with it. <laughs> Listen. The Zakanim, which are among you, I exhort, yeah. who am also an Zakan and a witness of the sufferings of Mashiach. See that? And he said he's a witness of the suffering. Why are you going to tell you he was a witness? What? I was going to cut that joke off too. Because I'm quick to cut somebody off. You know what I'm saying? He talking. The elders among you, I exalt. Yahushua was crucified. He said, the elders among you, I exalt, which is the word zakan. The zakan among you, I exalt. Tell him why. Who am also an zakan. He said, I'm a zakan too. And what else are you? A witness. Of the who? Sufferings of Mashiach. Nigga, was you there? Nigga be talking. Nigga, did you, were you there? That's how important he knew I got to believe it. That, that's all he said. He said, you know what? Tony got to believe it. How many of y'all believe it? Did you know that's the only reason he said that? So that you might believe. <coughs> that's the only reason he said it. 
He could have just kept going on. He said, but I got to tell them I'm a witness because they got to have at least two to three. Tell them what you want me to do. And also a partaker of the who? Kabood that shall be revealed. How many of y'all know that? Is that an accurate statement what he just said? What he just said? That he's going to be a partaker of the glory be revealed? You know that too? Wow. Questionable. See, people are talking and throw stuff and you won't pay attention, will you? That's why you pay me. Come the 21st, don't have no problem with my check. Get the book of Matthew Yahoo, chapter 19. Chapter 19, verse 21. Matthew Yahoo. Nineteen twenty one. Listen to the book. Yahushua said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that that thou hast, and what give happened? to the poor. Yeah. And thou shalt have treasures in Shamayim, and come and follow me. But when the young each heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Mm -hmm. Then said Yahushua unto his Methodus, What is that? Amat, I say unto you, that a rich each shall hardly enter into the Malkuth of Shamayim. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle mm -hmm. than for a rich ish to enter into the Malkuth of Allahim. Mm -hmm. And when his Methetas heard it, they were exceedingly amazed and mm -hmm. saying, what are they saying, who then can be saved? Talk to him. But Yahushua beheld them and said unto them, with Anashim, this is impossible. Mm -hmm. But with Allahim, all things are possible. Yes. Then answered the cuff and said unto him, What are you saying? Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. Mm -hmm. What sh shall we have therefore? What happened? And Yahushua said unto him, mm -hmm. Amat, I say unto you, What are you saying? That ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Ben of each shall sit in the throne of his kabood, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve matah, of Yasharal. And what happened? And every one that hath forsaken houses, or Akim, or Akuth. Who know why he said this? I tell you. Listen. Or Abba, or Aim, or Asha, or Benim, or Lands, for my Shem's sake. For his name's sake. Shall receive an hundredfold. And do what? Shall inherit everlasting Kai. Anybody know why that statement would have possibly been made? Talk to me. No, that's not it. He pull out for both of them? No, what, what would have happened, the reason why they made this state generally, because we had to go back and look at Rehoboam. Rehoboam was the being of Shal uh, Shalomah, they call Solomon. Y'all familiar with that? Yeah. Okay. In the 12th chapter, let's see what he tells them. That's going to be the book of Olive Shamuol. I'm sorry, um, uh, Malachi. Oh, yeah, Malachi. Aleph, Aleph Malachi. They call it First Kings, chapter twelve. Jump down and give me about verse fourteen. Let me just see what that is, right quick. <clears throat> it looks close to Malachi, but with Malachi. Mal, then you say I put the hyphen, Aki, his messenger. Mal Akim was plural. Remember, we got the mem, plural. So this is going to be for emperor, not kings. We don't have a king. Nobody. We don't have a king. That's why they could tell them Caesar was their king. They're exactly right, because we don't have no king. We don't have him. We have an emperor. Don't go tell nobody that Malachim means no king. That makes no sense. It's an emperor. An emperor is a different, even when his hat. You look at you, they hit their hat goes up and out, kind of like the olive, um, his horns. A king just got a little crown on his head. That's nothing we have. We have empires, they have kingdoms. 
That's a different. If you'll watch the people in Asia, the Asian people, you'll look. They'll never tell you he's the king of president. He's not no king. They'll tell president. These folks look at emperor. They were always looking at emperor, and they always did time period in dynasty. Dynasty means how long a family ruled. That's why you'll find the fifth dynasty, sixth dynasty. That tells you how long that family ruled. Now with Yahushua, we look at the 42nd dynasty. That tells us how long his family ruled. We count in dynasty. See, white people got you counting these little century stuff you be doing, 100 century, but that don't tell you who ruled during the period. So you'll have like the Ming dynasty. They'll give you six and let you know how long that family actually ruled. Y'all got me? So they came down there. That's how we knew how long they ruled. It'll tell you a malak, then they'll tell you how long he ruled. They'll say he ruled Marshall, Yasharal for 42 years, for 12 years. So that'll be a dynasty. He ruled for that whole dynasty. Just like when the, when, um, the Chicago Bulls came in. 90 what? 93, 94, 95? That was their dynasty. What was it then? 96? They ruled those three dynasties. See, they, see they, how many of y'all use, use dynasty? They use dynasty on them. They will always say, man, they had that dynasty back then. See, they let you know, and the white people watch you, you start saying stuff now. People don't just say they ruled them three years. They say, man, that was a dynasty, man. Mm -hmm. They ran that thing. White people watching you. White people start listening to your lingo saying, where these niggas get dynasty from? These niggas need to be talking years. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Yes, sir. Are y'all learning the thing? Yes, sir. Do y'all understand how complex this system is we're dealing with and how these people made a fool out of us? We have an emperor. We don't have a king. They have a king. That's why I told them Caesar was the king. We don't have one. We have an emperor. He has an empire. See, when they, trans, when they transgendered your book, it was important to get you to understand kings and queens so you'll accept Elizabeth, you'll accept George, you'll accept all these people that came in, and you'll take them because you'll say, man, that's amazing. They're in our Bible which is actually a Greek word that came from the word Bibulus, which is a God is a writer. So now they gave you a book that's already written out saying a God has wrote that book. That's why I got to come and clean it up. I got to come down and tear out everything that, that ain't like Elohim. These folks, this, this is what they do. Once you catch on something, all they do is just take it out of the system. Try to find Bibulus. They'll take it out. I ain't made it up. Bibulus is a Greek God that's a writer, and they gave you a Bible. Guess what they told you mean? Biblical instruction based on life eternal. Tell you anything. And you run around like a damn fool repeating it. It comes from a Greek goddess named Bibulus. She was a goddess of writing. So you got so many. Listen, you're dealing with Greek discipline. You're dealing with Roman discipline. You deal with French discipline. You're dealing with German dis discipline. You got church. You got that from Kirk, Kukos. That's all this. Stuff. You got so many people playing with you. Want to wake up and talk, who pulled my pan down? All the other nations sitting around you looking. I ain't touch you. Everyone they asked done touched you. Everybody done touched you. That's, listen, when I watch the disease walk through and wipe their asses out, I will not pull out for not one. Not one of these people that have been played by the disease have not been a part of a system that raped us. Iran is pyro. That's why you'll go back and look at the Mies. There are no such thing as Mies. That was Iran. Their name is Pyra. These people had you in captivity after you came out from under, um, 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 from Babylon. They call it Babylon. It's not bad. It's Babylon. It means the gates of the gods. When you came out from them, then the Medes, and they took you. They started telling you about no purge. Don't listen to that shit. They didn't power. That is Iran. Why you think Iran being played? Why you think Roman being played? Because these people all took you captive. That's right. They took your Malak and crucified it. That's right. Pray for these damn white folks too. The English people did the same thing to you. That's right. Now they're suffering. That's right. They're suffering. They're going to pay for their deed. All of you is going to suffer. Sit around and tell themselves, England, these people selling Great Britain, these are gods. That's right. These folks don't name these places after gods. All of he told we ain't supposed to have one. That's right. He done challenged, they, he been challenging their God for years. Now they can't meet the plate. Now they can't stand up. That's right. Mr. Hood turned the water red. They can't turn it back white. That's right. Mr. Hood done played. They're trying to get something to take it off from. You will not get this gone quickly. That's right. Suffering. Trying to lock themselves in the house. Too late. 
That's right. Too late now. Isn't that right? Too late. They got to pay for what they've done. Yes, sir. Y'all pray for them. I'm going to pull one out for you. If I find it, Mr. Who will find you been praying for them, let you go with them. Yeah. Want to pull out? They're like you. Who should told you? Pray for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You think these folks done prayed? No, they prayed on you. Yeah. There's a difference in praying for you and praying on you. Yeah. That's, right. That's how quick they use words on you. Yeah. You know, I'm praying for you. You think you think thinking. That means I'm watching your ass. I'm looking to attack your ass. <laughs> you know what a prayer P R E Y? Yeah. That quick they change around and transgender and make a fool out you. They praying on you all the time. White folks say, I'm praying on you. I mean praying for you. Mm -hmm. He'll, I know, I know the spirit. I can understand spirit talk. That's drunk talk. Yep. I'm coming on. Y'all listen, y'all get a lot of information. Yep. Y'all got a whole lot of information. It shouldn't even be proved. I told them folks, I'm not putting out this stuff out. They don't need to know it. Let them keep praying to Jesus Christ. Keep That's following right. God. That's right. He folks to learn out the wild. They may get destructed on their plate. It's time yeah. for people to turn. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, get finished with y'all. What I got you holding? Come on. 12, 14. Listen. And spake to them after the counsel of the young Anashim, <laughs> saying. This is Aleph, Mal Akim, chapter 12. I told them verse 14. 12 verse 14 to get y'all understand why he made the statement you tell me what it makes sense you ain't got to believe it let's see listen my Abba made your yoke heavy and I will add to your yoke you see my that he made they lay you know who you put a yoke on ox. a ox which is actually an olive white people gave you an ox anything to get you out is actually called the olive the olive y'all got it he told you ox that's why he got you eating the ox tail Anything to get y'all, then he done transgender you over, now you're eating the cow. He did a lot of damage to it. It's the olive. Listen. <clears throat> My Abba also chastised you with whips. What you gonna do? But I would chastise you with scorpions. Listen. Wherefore the Malak hearkened not unto the arm, for the cause was from Yahuwah. See that? He said that for the <clears throat> Malak, the emperor, he wouldn't listen to the people. But he let you know why he wouldn't listen to him. Because this cause was from Yahuwah. Listen. That he might perform his saying, which Yahuwah spake by Ahijah, the Shalonite, unto Jeroboam, the Ben of Nabat. Listen. So when all Yasharal saw that the Malak hearkened not unto them. Listen to what they did. The arm answered the Malak saying. What did they say? What portion have we in Daoud? See that? He tell me about what the apostle going to get. Listen to the book. Neither have we inheritance in the bin of... Who was he talking to at first? To the apostle. Y'all follow me? Y'all gonna be straight word up? That, that, we gonna be in that chilling? You know what I'm saying? Get in that thing. Don't worry about it. I know you'll be that later. <laughs> <laughs> he talking about the apostle gonna get. Listen to what happened. Neither have we inheritance in the bin of Yashi. Listen, Yashi is who they call Jesse. Listen. To your tents. To your who? To your tents. Who? Oh, Yasharal. And what you want Doc, What you want him to do? Now see to thine own Beth. That's why he had to hurry up and clear that up. He was telling the apostle, we listen, we finna walk. What you, let me ask y'all a question. Y'all think I come here to serve so the apostle can get all that, ain't getting nothing? <laughs> he just told them people what's gonna happen. They looking at, hold on for a minute. What we get? I don't see me standing around. Yeah. No, yeah. it ain't make no sense. That's why I know why this statement had to be his. Oh, hold on, hold on. And all of y'all that follow. And forsaken house and all that. He said, you're going to receive something too. Otherwise, we were walking. People don't like truth. Why people don't like a mind? Why you think he had to come and clarify to them? We sit here and listen. What, what they getting? He ain't said nothing about us. He had to get quick to it. That's right. But well, Kevin, I'm finna walk. That's right. He, then <laughs> <laughs> me and Kev. <laughs> me and Kev, we finna go. That's, but that, listen, you know, that's common. If a person don't have a part, why would you be in it? Right. So he had to get some of the trackers at eleven twenty eight of the book of Matthew. Listen to the book, Matthew eleven twenty eight, right quick. Listen. 
Come unto me. Who? All ye that labor and are heavy laden. And you gon and you gonna make what heavy? And I will give you rest. What you want me to do? Take my yoke upon you. And do what? Learn of me. See that he had to say that. Tell him why. For I am me. And lowly at lowly and law. And what you gonna do? And ye shall find rest for your nephash. That's why I stay and listen to what he's talking about. See when Abraham talked though, he just told him he was gonna make it harder. He was gonna make the yoke harder and heavier. So why am I stay? <clears throat> I'm gonna put some more work on you. I'm gonna break you. I'm gonna have you sweating and hollering and screaming. You're like, man, I'm out of here. You crazy? Hmm. I ain't doing no foolishness like that. I'm gone. That's right. So why you think he's gonna attract me? He had to tell me to come. And he told me he's gonna make it easy. Take my yo. I'm gonna give you the same work I got. I ain't got no heavy work on me. They just out there and stay a while. That's right. Isn't that right? You can be like Eddie Murphy was on trade and play. You look at that right. cold. You got that licking of cigars. <laughs> you can get out right now. You Mr. Valentine. <laughs> No, I think I can stay with y'all guys for a while. <laughs> That's right. They look out there that cold. Like, man, not going out no cold. You got brandy, cigar, we run a limousine. That's right. And a roll run. Yeah, I can stay a while. That's right. That's how he attracted us. That's human nature. People are going to come to something that's a lot easier than what they're in. So it made sense. So he had to tell us about we had a part. Otherwise, we were going to tell him, you do that for yourself. I ain't got nothing. I'm not going to help you do nothing if you ain't going to get nothing out of it. That's crazy. You know what they say? I just serve to serve. It don't matter. I don't need nothing. Because you are a retard. Mm. That makes no sense. Why am I serving to serve? You know why a way to be there keep filling your drink and hit anything up? I'm looking for your ass to tip. Mm. And then you give me you to my man, you did good. <laughs> man, what? <laughs> Find on that a pole that shit on your head. <laughs> I'm sweating and running back and forth to the kitchen, checking, running, man, take that on like that. Get you something. I'm like, that nigga gotta pay. He gotta pay the way I'm running and get to him. Don't y'all know you who got to pay? He got to pay us. That's why I said, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna give you rest. Take my yoke, take the burden off you, and learn of me. Learn the systematic study of belief. Cause it's easy. And my burdens are light. Make sense? Yes, sir. Don't let nobody just make you believe. This. Listen, no more that just believe something because somebody said it. We got to verify it. You're attaching your soul to it. You're saying, I'm willing to die in the estate I'm in based off of what I know and I am secure. This is the ooh. It means secure. That's what it means, secure, the ooh. The nail. The pig. It's actually a pig. A nail can't let it, but nail is what we know generally today. You go to Home Depot, don't ask them for no pig. Tell me you're trying to find the nails. But it's actually a pig. The reason why you look at a pig, because a pig made out of wood. See, you got to still deal with time period, Liam. When we first came, we weren't in an iron system. We was in the wood system, what they would call, you know what I'm saying, the pre-system. So what they'd have first, they knew about taking a piece of wood and making a peg out of it. You could take a wood and you could take a knife and you could sharpen or take a sharp stone and you can rub it against it and you can change the point of it. And you can use it to secure something. Like when you put a tent, you tie a rope off and you take the ooh and you fasten the ground and you tie the rope around it so you can make sure it's, what is it? Secure. That's what we found with Yahushua. He's our ooh. Ooh, child. Things are going to get easier. Why? Because we're secure. That's right, that's right. When? Someday. <laughs> <laughs> See that? The ooh. See, everything he, why would he give you something magical? You don't understand it. It has nothing to do with everything he gave you. You could understand. You had to understand what the ooh was. You said nail, they didn't know nothing about it. They knew about a pig. They knew what they could do with wood. Hello? So that's what we look at. That's our security. When we read the Debar, we start going through, every time we go through and we line these books up, that's another pig. That's our secure. That's how we secure what we believe or be secure in what we believe, what we are among. It's that important. He didn't leave you nothing that you can't understand. It don't make sense. What do you know about aerodynamics and all this other stuff? This is scientific, data beta stuff you couldn't really prove. It just really got to go with what they told you. You just recite something you heard. But this you know. This we worked in. 
Hello? How much information you had about it is this important? 15 tell the book of your cause call. Let's see that were they even knowledgeable about it. They call it Ezekiel, but the problem name is your cause call. I'm trying to let y'all go because we'll be up here, man, y'all. Your cause of call, chapter 15, verse 1. Listen to the book. And the Debar of Yahuwah came unto me, saying. Debar singular is the word. Debar. D A. B A R. Debar. For the word, singular. Now, when I drop a Y and an M behind it, then you'll have Dabarim, which will be plural for words. Now, this is kind of important for us just starting with, the, with this particular letter. What I'm using, the style, is called transliterating, which means I'm writing in a way that you can enunciate it in its proper term, Dabar. Okay? And doing that, a couple of these letterings I'm using wouldn't actually be here, but they're used in helping you to pronounce it in his language. This will actually be for us the dog. First, then believe to be the dalith later. The dog is actually something that swings. The opening, the door. You know what that swing? A door. So now, guess what you find out just from finding that and you find out about the Debar? What do you think? What did you put together? Doorway or entrance. So now I'm finding out that the word is actually my entrance way to get well into the family, within the family. This can actually help me get within <coughs> here or in the family or in the house. Hello? Y'all don't believe that? Let's see. At the 8th chapter of the book of your Ukanon, they call it John. 8 and 30. Are you learning? Yes, sir. They call it John. Let's see if that makes sense. Just dealing with now just the first part of it, the Dal or the Dalith, all right? The bar, I'm telling you, is a door, all right? Which is, we're going to look at an entrance way. I'm saying to the best to get you within or in the family or in the land. Got it? All right, let's see what this statement was, according to 830 of the book of Yukonai. Listen to the book. As he spake these dabarim. I couldn't imagine. What is that again? As he spake these dabarim. As he spake this door, as he spake the doll. <clears throat> He had to be speaking concerning the door. Let's see what he said. Many among on him. Listen what happened. Then said Yahushua to those Yahudim which among on him. If you do what? Continue. See that? And continue. Where? In my debar. See that? Uh-uh. In the dog. What happened? Then are you my Methodists indeed. And what happened? Ye shall know the Amat. And? The Amat shall make you free. Tell me what happened. They answered him. What did they do? We be Abraham's seed. And that means they would tell him that they were inside of Abraham's family. If you're saying you were Abraham's seed, you're saying that you're inside of his family. Hello? You're within the family. Listen to the book. And were never in bondage to any each. So what they want to know? How sayest thou? Ye shall be made free. So tell me what happened. Yahushua answered them. What happened? Amad, Amad. Of a truth? I say unto you. That who? Whosoever committed kata. Is what? The abad of kata. Pay attention. And the abad. Do what? Abad if not in the Beth forever. I wonder how they got in the house. Through the dog. Through the debar. But now he just told me. That if I commit Qatar, that I'll come right back through the swinging door. That was the entrance way. Now, if I transgress, he just told me I'll get out of the family. He'll put me out of the house and he'll put me out of the land. See, so you got to just take your time. 
come in y'all that were complicated. The Dalith is the door. That's the swinging door. You ain't gonna believe what they tell you. That means it go both ways. You can get in and you can get out. Got it? Yeah. Now he told him you got in, but if you don't continue in it, you can go right back out. Mm. Mm. Make sense? Mm. Uh -huh. Well, you typically going to put a door at on a building. That's right. On something you're trying to protect. On something you're trying to limit from people getting in or different things getting in. That's the purpose of putting the door up. Hello? That's <sighs> Listen to what else he told you. But the bend abideth ever. So why will he abide forever? He continued because he's the nun. Pay attention. If he abided forever, he continued because he's the nun. N U N. Perpetual. Continual. He's the nun. When you heard about it in the book of, in your in back in the Torah, well it wouldn't be the Torah for five books. Yah Yahushua, the book they call Joshua would not be Torah. This will be with your right, and this will be with your nabim, nabaim. Your book is broken up into certain parts. Your first five is Torah. First five, Torah. From Barashit to what they call Deuteronomy. That's Torah. From there, you'll move into the nabaims. Then you'll move into the kitzvim, the writings. That's why it's called the Tanakh. The Tanakh, because it's broken up in a system. You got to understand your first five. They go back and they tell you they're reading the law and they're going back. You're not reading Torah. Your book is broken up for a reason. You're reading Nabaeans. You don't believe that? Let's see what Oriya say. Oriya 16, 18. That's all I can do again, book. See, I don't, that's what I like about my ball. I ain't in the spirit. I'm not in no spirit where I'm running around and captivating and running, spitting stuff all on the wall. Let's just see what the man said. This is the 16th chapter of the book of Oriya. They call Luke 16, 18. Listen to the book. Whosoever putteth away his asha. 16, 16. Yes, sir. Oh, that's right, too, now. Yeah, it is. Listen to the book. The Torah and the Nabaeen. This shit don't make sense, though. This don't make sense if it ain't different. <coughs> why is he saying the law? And? The Nabaeen. So why would you, and mean conjunction. If they the same, it won't make sense to make this statement. You just say the Torah. Because your book is broken down in a certain particular reading for it, systematically so you know what you're reading. So when you start saying things, he's quoting or he's making statements and you can go back and know where to look for it. It don't make sense to go back and look in the Torah if it's in the Nabi'in. It don't make sense to look for it in the Nabi'in if it's in the writings. It's a system. All right, listen. He said the Torah... And the Nabaim. Well, unto who? Yaukanan. But since that time, the Malkuth of Allahim is preached. See that? They're going back to Basar, the good news. Huh? It's been brought forward. Hello? And tell her what happened, son. In every Ish. And every who? Ish. Do what? Presseth into it. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. We got to press our way into it. It got to be a concerted effort. That's how we make it in. Y'all got it? So I need you to understand. I'm telling you something. I don't want you to just take it because I'm telling you. I can prove it. That your book is broken into groups. Yeah. Food. In school, they got your food broken down into, you ain't going to believe it, into groups. Because it's a system. They know you need a starch. You need vegetable. You need a meat. They know all these different things. So they break it up in a brick. They even put and group it in the sun. They don't <coughs> just slap it on the plate. They even section it off. Which is a divide. Now, what are you going to use for that? That's what I want to hear. You sound intelligent. The cough of the hoth. Uh oh. Badal. Separate. Separate. That is how you do it, ain't it? Separate, that's it. One helper, that bad. Y'all leave it out there like that. Well, I think it's it's separate. You know what? 
For the sake of them that stood by, I said it. P A R E. Okay. Well, let's get in the spirit, people. <clears throat> did y'all think y'all thought I could spell? The <laughs> white. Is that it? P A. Self parade. Okay. P A R A T E. See that? We'll get down. Main thing about it. Can I be saved? <laughs> what if I misspell separate? Go back and do it two times. Can I be saved? <laughs> Isn't that right? That's right. Listen to the book. So now you know what the cough is. The cough is, this is what it looks like. The cough of a hoth. I said the cough. They should have it up on the board. They should have them on the board. For those that send it back, they can't see it. The cough, or sometimes they'll spell it the hoth. It's like the hot cough. Hoth. Some believe it's the hoth. Okay? So that's why you H H A T H. Okay? Hoth. This is used here. Got it? The Beth. When you look at the Beth, this is one of your this is your second alabet. If you see this right here, this is this. This is the cough. It's used to separate to divide. Where you typically learn about it at. When it came down into the book of Abarim, when they started to deal with the, the uh, Mastrakhan, he told you about the first part, which what they would call, it's actually called the Magdash. They'll put sanctuary. We don't use sanctuary because it got other deities attached to it. That's the first part. He said that's where all of the congregants or the Adal would be here. Or just like, you know, in your house. When you grew up as a kid, the parent bedroom would be what? Off limits. That's the purpose of the cough. Because this was your divider, your separator. Which no <coughs> only person should go over here was who? The the Hakuhan or your father. He would be the only person that can go in every room. I don't give a damn. It's my house. I go anywhere I want to in him. That's right. How many of y'all remember that stuff? My dad said, Don't close no damn door in him. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. My daddy would take the cough dog. <laughs> he would get rid of the cough. <laughs> But he looked at because he was the head, which is the, you see the bear. The olive or the abba, which is the chief. The olive is the chief, remember the head, the, the horns, of the what? Of the house. That's why we look at the abba. Not only that now, the olive is also the strongest animal we had, so that means that the abba would be the strongest one in the house. So now when you had the Kohan, <laughs> that would be our strength. Mm. He'd be the strong one of the house for us. That's right. Simply because he had the ability, he could go in. And we only knew this from the nature, because you knew who could go here. That's right. Well, the first, the father. Got it? The father could do this. Okay? Is this kind of making sense for y'all? Mm -hmm. So when you put together, don't let this stuff get, it's not mystical. It's just, it's plain. Everything they knew was plain. So don't let people trip you up trying to make stuff more complicated than what it is. So we understand about having a strong Abba. Right? And what the Abba ability was. Well, guess what? The Kohan could come in and he can go here too. That's tight. I just put that and I refer him to the father. Now, will my boss let me be wrong like that? No. Shaphatim, chapter 17. Shaphatim, they call it judges. Shaphatim, chapter 4, 17. See how they work out. Make that fast. Shaphatim, that's how they work out. The actual name is Sha Fa. I forgot the A. Sha Fa should have been an A him. Team. 
This is the past tense, but we'll, we'll get to deal with that too. The past tense, well, not past, <laughs> I'm sorry, not past tense, I apologize. We have first and final forms. I said past tense. Sha fa team. Which is what since we seen the uh, mem at the end? Plural. Plural. So guess what this taught us, Leon? That we had judges. We had vindicators. Not just one, we had vindicators. And the reason why, because we were going to look at one that was going to come and vindicate us all. But we had to learn from all of those. Hello? That's right. That's what, that's what we learned about when we learned about Yahushua. When we learned about Shamshun. That he t we learned that he shot at Yasharal at that time. That's right. Right? Yes, sir. That's why when he did something, he could justify himself. Hello? Yes, sir. The man said he was going to do them a disservice and he was going to be blameless. I mean, the only people going to find me fault was going to be them. I find no fault. Shaphatim 17 and 4. Listen to the book. <clears throat> Yet he restored the money unto his major. Yes. Which Unto is his a aim. Greek word that he just used a Greek word for an Aberdeen man. Mater. Sound like meter. The Greek for a mother. Now, you might ask yourself, why in the hell would he do that? Reason why? Because hell is not a real word. <laughs> so would he actually be giving something to his mater? And he's an Aberdeen man during a time when Greek sister was not even instituted? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So why in the hell would he use mater? Versus his <laughs> aim. That's right. Got it? That's what we use for mother. She would be the aim. They'll just best spell the A-I-M like aim two pace. Because you look at aim two, some guy, strong. Still dealing with a strong mother because you got the olive. Hello? I use the, uh, the yard. They use the A I Y A I M, but I use A Y I because you're still going <coughs> to deal with the hand or the fist. How many of y'all remember y'all mama ball up that fist? Yep, that's what you get with the yard, too. <laughs> Ain't that right? Mama ball up that fist. And you know what you do? I knock some sense in your ass. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all mama told y'all before? I'm trying to think of my mama tell me that today. <laughs> Did you, mama? Yeah, but that's what they do. Got it? And guess what she do? She can keep chaos out. Yeah. That's why the book told the aged women or the younger women to do what he wants. I will, therefore, that the younger women do what? Get married. Get married. See, that's, 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 that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, that. <laughs> Get pregnant. <laughs> That's right. He went there for that they marry. Mary. Create an institution. Bear. Children. And do what else? Hide the house. See that? See that? And direct. Instruct the house. So you guess why? So she keep chaos out. Mother can help keep chaos out of the house. Right? Mama had a stick too, wasn't she? That's right, isn't it? So you can keep, you can instruct. You can tame. We with the hand. Sometimes mama slapped the piss at you. She was taming you, didn't it? Mm hmm Strong mother. You pop. And damn, she hit hard. Strong mother. Ain't. And she don't miss either. Rather mama miss. I want you to tell us that bitch. She'll come in some bitch. She said, I ain't mean to hit y'all. She said, but you kept moving. <laughs> and then I let you know. Thought about that. She comes to the bed and tell you about it, yeah? But you kept moving. You wouldn't be still. And let you know why she hit y'all over the place. You move that way. Yeah, get hit. Yo, yo. You learn to be still. You know, be still and know. Mother had a little Yahushua in him. Yeah. Peace be still. <laughs> Listen to the book. And his aim took 200 shekels of silver yeah. and gave them to the founder mm -hmm. who made thereof a graven image mm -hmm. and a molten image. Yeah. And they were in the Beth of Mikyah. And tell them about Mikyah. <clears throat> and the each Mikyah had an Beth of Allahim. See, now he had a Beth of them. Whole house full of them. Listen to what happened. And made an ephod and teraphim and made Kadash one of his beneath. See that? He did what? He made Kadash. He separated one of them. 
Like the car. Make kudosh. That's what kudosh is to separate. That's all it is. You separate it. Got it? So we'll learn how to do that. And we said that's what the debar do too. It'll come in and it'll separate. Y'all got a door also can be a separator. When we look at the car being in the house, that could be a door to keep your entrance way to keep you from coming here. Listen. Who became his Kohan. Who became who now? Who became his Kohan. I'm finna get thawed. What happened? In those Yamin. What happened? There was no Malak in Yasharal. And what did they do? But every Ish did that which was right in his own eyes. So what happened? And there was a young Ish out of Baflaham, Yehuda, of the Mishpaka of Yehuda. What happened? Who was a Louis and he sojourned there. And he stayed there. What happened? And the each departed out of the city from Bethlehem, Yehuda mm -hmm. to sojourn where he could find a Malcum. And he came to Har Aphraim to yeah. the Beth of Mikyah yeah. as he journeyed. What happened? And Mikyah said unto him, What could he tell him? Whence comest thou? Yes. And he said unto him, mm -hmm. I am a Louis of Bethlehem, Yehuda, yeah. and I go to sojourn where I may find a Malcolm. Yeah. And Mikyah said unto him, What he tell him? Dwell with me. Do what now? Dwell with me. For what? And be unto me a Abba. But if I know that I was done, I'd be dangerous. I'd be damned. My boss, for whatever, he won't let me do that. I just told y'all what a Kohan can do. Mm -hmm. That's because that's in my mind. It's because it's in the book. Right. He just told the man to dwell him and be a Kohan. He told him to be his Abba. You know why? Because you can go here and him. He needs somebody that can go anywhere. Hello? Go figure. But the first way I had to learn it was about the Abba. Got it? You had to learn about the Abba first. Then I had to learn what the bill of the Kohan was. So if the Kohan could go in him, you must be the Abba. That's how I knew how Yahushua was and knew who he was. <laughs> if he can go in there, he had to be the Abba. Yeah. Wouldn't he? Yeah. Why would he tell the man to dwell with him and be to him an Abba? Are y'all all right? Yes, sir. Is that important that you understand what's going on? Everything they got, guess what? Did y'all have to get the spirit to understand that? Then we have the ISO and XO. All we had to do was just read, and you ain't going to believe it, whereby you can understand. That when you understand our olive Beth, olive being the first, Beth being the second, we use Abba for the Abba, for the Father. The Father could go anywhere he wanted in here. So could the Kohan. So when Yahushua came and we were told that he was the Rosh Kohan, what else we should have known about him? That he was the father. That's what he picked up. And the man was doing stuff how he want to do it. But he had enough sense to say, if you be my Kohan, would you be the father? Go figure. Listen, I know y'all tired. I don't care to let y'all go. Listen, I, we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot. Because we got to go ahead and make this stuff as simple as possible, plain as possible so you can get it. Because you can't do something you don't know. That's why we write it down so you can get it. That's why we put it up so you can see it. So now what you get and you understand, nobody can't take that away from you now. Nobody can't take from what you know. What you don't know and what ain't been proven, they can shake you on that. But when you know it and it's been proven and tested, nobody can't take that from you. Y'all got it? That's two. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> what a pose. I appreciate it. I saw that too. What happened? I got a hole on him in my right leg. But I got on draw so you won't see my neck in it when I go up. That's why I told Wilson draw and I put that linen on. I go, yeah, that thing, man, they, they cut, they creased it so pretty, that little scene like come. I ain't ashamed of it. There ain't no ugly knee now. Y'all all right? I ain't got no holes in my life, though. Isn't that right? 
Y'all all right? Did y'all learn anything? Two. Most how with it, maybe we'll come back. They'll leave that up there. Maybe we'll come back. Uh, Woo, y'all see that? Man, that's a scientific. Let them get up. I think they want a picture down. Listen, man, that's scientific up down. Listen, that's shooting from the head. Shooting off from the hip again. I don't have to write no manuscript up and play with this stuff. I'm honest. I tell the people, listen, I'm honest. If I don't know something, I'll look it up. Let's say, let's look it up and then find out what it is. Listen, it don't matter if it's going to be Greek, Latin, Hebrew, they call it, where we're going to get. All we're going to do is do one or two things. It's either going to coincide what we got or we're going to change what we're doing. Ain't that right? I'm open. What are we going to do? I'm going to say, oh, man, I was wrong. That's it. We're going to write it for a Oh, now I'm going to die and go to hell. I'm not dying and going to hell. I'm going to correct it. That's, right. That's stupid. Yahushua told me about a man that he had found and the man was, he was a steward. The man was unjust in all his dealing. And his master told him, his anointing told him, said, quick, he would come and say, give account of your stewardship. And when he told the man that found that he hadn't done it just, the man went out quick and asked everybody what he owed him. He said, cut it. He said, cut it. You owe 100, he said, write 60. None he came to, so write 40. Then he ran another, he told him, write 20. Went back and did it, his, a darn tone said, you did just. The man realized he had done wrong. He said that to my oh, kill me now, let me die, I've been wrong. He went and he cleaned it up. That's right. Y'all get that stuff out y'all mind, all this shit, like, oh, if I'm wrong, I can't make, won't you clean it up? That's right. Four people quit and stop, won't you just change? I ain't never seen so many people find a reason to quit. I find something wrong. I, I find it wrong for a reason so I can get it right. That's right. He let you find you wrong. That means now you got to die and burn. That's the stupidest shit I ever heard. Find I'm wrong so I can get it right. The detriment is he left me wrong and let me die wrong. That's the scary part. But the fact he gave me an opportunity to come back and map it and get it right. That's opportunity. That's why I'm here. Y'all hear me? This ain't the only place now. This ain't the only Malcolm. But I ain't many more here. Once you leave here and start walking, you'll walk till you ain't nothing but a head before you find another one. That out of that, you just gonna be on a roll. You know right? Y'all like that because the head, you're 199,193 more. I had a million of them. What Naj at? Write it down for me, Naj. Send it to Jasmine. Yeah, appreciate it. I'm telling y'all, man, take your time. This thing right here. 